Commercial that we're doing right now. Oh, nice. yes. Mix. I say go there. You're from Jersey, right, Al? I kick it old school in uh, Jersey. Well, we want you to start hanging out at the Mix <laughs> Lounge and uh, Food Bar. Seven, 71 Brighton Avenue. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't good. This means bad things. What? Uh, mix, that's 732 923 Come to Mix. Get your fix. Ron and Fag. 1027 WMU. Alright, I am, uh. That was great, Fuzzy, as always. Thank I'm a you. little weirded out by what just happened in here a few moments ago, Al. Uh, some Al, of your that, actions. That's not a mic that's working, pal. Yeah. Really? Yeah, come over Remember and Remember, you real... put it on the You know, it's going to hear it through your headphones, right? I don't know what's going on. Go ahead. <laughs> I hear it now. Some of the stuff that you're doing with kissing and everything is weirding me out. I haven't kissed anybody. Eight seven seven six nine two one zero two seven. Hey, uh, Brian, Brian, you're on our uh, Ronnie Fez. Hey, Brian. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, buddy. Yo, Al, that was a good kiss, right? I don't know what you're talking about. Do you know who you just kissed? No. You kissed a man, you fag. That's called a joke. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ha, ha. Very funny. You know, whenever I'm in the mood for a good joke, I go around and kiss my best friends. Whatever, sir. 
Um, call you so Al, you are nice. such a homo. All right, thank you. No. So you're okay with that, though, Al? I'm straight. But how yeah. was the kiss? I don't know who I kissed. I don't know what you're talking about. You know who you kissed. I don't know. When you were blindfolded before the break. I was not blindfolded. You, your eyes were open? Eyes were open. And you saw who you kissed? I don't know what you're talking about. All right, let's bring in uh, everybody who was in the room before. Let's uh, line up the ladies. All right, here come our girls who never did get named tonight. Yeah. Hi, guys. How are you? Hi, guys. Melissa, Hi. Lisa, and Gina. Hi. Where's uh, Randy? Mean. Randy is a radio whore. All right. Well, more than you know. All right, now let's yeah. line them, everybody out here. Sit over here, Randy. I right, hear is uh, Melissa. Randy's boring. Mel- All right, Al. Is he really? It is boring. Melissa, Do you think it's Gina, you? Randy, and Lisa. Guess which one you were kissing, Al? I don't know. I would say no one. You remember kissing someone, right? No. And saying it was nice? No. Boring It's what I would say right now. And they were boring? I don't remember it. That's called... Boring. You see Let's like not hit Melissa with that. another mic. You like that a lot. You don't think um, you that any of us kiss very well or something? I'm bored. You're no, bored. Ew. What word can I substitute for boring that would understand that you guys would understand? You seem How to about, enjoy it while yeah. it's happening, you it's stupid jerk. Gay. <laughs> you kiss me, Al. <laughs> Al? You seem yeah. to enjoy it while it's happening. Me. Over here. Who's here? <laughs> He's looking all That's around the room. BS. <laughs> He can't tell where they... BS? Randy's boring. He did, maybe. Hey, Randy, why don't you call a few more shows and try to do, like, a Randy thing on all the shows? Why don't you like anybody, Al, even the people you kiss? (laughs) All I'm saying is, you know what? Pick a show and go with it. Don't be on every show. Well, the radio chick isn't here anymore. Tony or Anthony or Billy or Al, can we stick to the kiss, please? So how, how was the oh, kiss? You kissed a man. No, I'm saying, how was the kiss? I don't know what you're talking about. You did you kiss, kiss a man. What did Boring. you kiss me? Right, do you need to see it on tape? Sure. On videotape? Uh-oh. Yeah, do we have that? Yeah. <laughs> can we go to videotape? I have, oh, Carter, stay away from Bring it over here first, go ahead, Carter. 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 So I can see it. Bring it over by Ronnie. Oh. All right. Al, you got everyone tied up in cords <laughs> around here. Now all of a sudden we're making Everyone's gay porn with Al. I'm bored with this. The right. guy's holding the mic like he's in like this Limp is called or something. Stop, <laughs> Al. In the ratings world, yeah. Stop boring. It. What do you know about ratings? <laughs> yeah, it's boring. What do you and Brantley know about ratings? <laughs> this is what I know about Brantley. Gator football. Right. You want to talk about Gator uh, football? You go to Brantley. <laughs> Get off. Oh my God. You find right, it, Carter. I'll take this mic over here. Yeah, give him a minute. No, okay. No. All right, Al. So I mean. I'm a little nervous about this whole Randy's situation. Randy's boring. <sighs> he's got, like, the downtown report or whatever he's doing. <laughs> I think a little bit of downtown came up to the studio <laughs> a couple of minutes ago. It's boring. Is, is he too boring to make out with again? He's boring. <sighs> John, you're on Ron of Fez. Hey, Hi, Ron John. Fez. Yeah. Board number 8726. Cool. Al, you seem a little bit hung up on the word boring. It's boring. <laughs> I, I have a suggestion, I buddy. I got two new me. words for you. Yeah. What's that? About baloney smokers. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds boring. Oh. Baloney smoker. All right, now, please boring. stop. This on the instant feedback. feedback. Yeah, thing. this is going to be Al's The Bruder film. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Al, film. I feel a little <laughs> guilty about this. What's that? Yeah, because... We blindfolded you. Remember okay. that part? No, I don't remember. Remember? Al, you were going to yeah. kiss one of the girls, and right then... Gay Randy walked in. Gay Randy is boring. You know why? He's on every show. He's trying to be gay Stop Randy. Stop saying boring. And, and listen to you and a guy were kissing. Boring. You and a guy were kissing. Wait, that's boring. Everybody, everybody, what was your opinion of the kiss? Did you think it was boring? I thought it was hot. What word don't you understand that's boring? sexy. No, really. What was it like? Who said it was sexy? Boring. Are you you were digging that, Gina? Yeah. Even though I hate boring. Al now. Yeah. I wish I could say boring a hundred times. Melissa, what yeah. did you think of in seeing the two guys? I love that. Yeah. That is awesome. Yeah. All right, let me Whatever. check with Lee. <laughs> what did you think? I don't really like um, guys touching each other, exactly. but um, Al is very gay. I think Randy is a little less gay than him. <laughs> wow. Boring. Wow. Uh, Randy's boring, mate. Could he call Randy every day? Randy is... Oof. 
Yeah. Could you, you just spit up a tooth? Yeah. <laughs> That's what it Ray, looks like. Um, He's right next Ray to me. Randy is very sexy. <laughs> hey, Pat. Pat, you're on Ronnie Fest. Hi, Pat. Hey, Ronnie. Hey, yeah. Ronnie Fest. Hey, buddy. So, okay. I love when you guys harass Al. Like, making him piss himself is the funniest thing in the world. But yeah. just from one straight man to another, Ron, yeah. friends excluded, that's wrong. What? That's just wrong. Thank you don't you, do Ron. that to another man. How do you think I feel? <laughs> I had a kiss Al. Yeah. Randy, well, everybody is always on the side of the straight person. What about the emotional I trauma I just endured? That beer uh, breath. All right, uh, take it, it was over. Terrible. How many beers have you? Had? Hi, Ronnie. Did you see the tape? Oh, yeah, the video the... from Carter. <laughs> and you know what? I, I'm <laughs> kind of a. I'm... All right, Pat. Why don't you try to listen to yourself? Pat is boring. I'm kind of leaning boring. towards Pat's point of view that uh, we crossed the line with our buddy. Uh-huh. Let me just check around the uh, room right here. Panther, too far. Uh, yeah, <laughs> really too far. All right, let me check with Dan. He called my girlfriend a whore, so, right. I mean, anything goes. Who did that? <laughs> I apologize for that. Al called me a whore. All right, let me check I'm with sorry. Friday Fright. Friday, Friday Fright, Fright, the new your, intern. Your first night here, you saw your boss making out with a guy. I think it's okay because he seemed to enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not into guys. Let me say that right that off the bat. That didn't sound very cowardly. All right, they, now, Joe Fez, this thing, I want you to count off the seconds of how long the kiss, uh, the Zabruder kiss lasted without. Okay. Yeah. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand, six, one thousand. Obviously, you're taking advantage of a man who has had uh, too much alcohol. You should have done night. blindfolded BJ's. <laughs> <laughs> That's next week. That I would have stopped. <laughs> Randy, Randy is boring. Yeah. Let me tell yeah. you why Randy so, is boring. Because he calls for. He's, boring. he's like Tony Stop. with you later said boys. This. He's You've boring. said this over and over, Al. I'm sick. Al, of I want you to see the tape. All I'm right. not looking at the tape. Carter, would you please show Al? Al, go ahead and look. This is what happened when you were blindfolded. I'm blindfolded. I can't see. <sighs> Obviously. <laughs> if they're showing me a guy, I can't see. <sighs> You said that's nice in the video. I'm Obviously, bored. you're making out with a man. I'm bored. That's called... <laughs> you're bored watching your own sex films? <laughs> that's called... Let me tell you right now, Pez. Yeah. That's called boring. You know why? Because it's a setup. And there's... What's exciting? What's exciting? Uh, what the setup is, is there's a blindfold. Right. If there's no blindfold, there's no bit. <laughs> All right. Let's and see. Uh, at a just, point, Ronnie. Right, maybe now that you know that. There may have been no bit, but there was tongue. Brand, uh, Randy or Brandy or whatever he calls himself. Brandy? <laughs> She's a fine dude. girl. I'm into girls. Yeah. He's yeah. not a girl. So I'm going to go ahead be. and dismiss him. <laughs> you I've been, been like one. You're boring. boring. You are boring. All right. What so makes me up. boring, Al? What makes you boring is Please you're like a radio... Whore. And that you All right, whatever. you're saying the same thing Radio over and check. over. Oh, what's she over? So let's call Ron a fan. All right, that's enough. Right. Yeah. Oh, it's the same he's thing you're saying over and over. Bitchy, he's getting. Yeah, yeah. that's very gay. Whatever. And uh, you know, another guy, an, a straight guy. What would he have done? He probably would have just stormed out of the room and yeah. hid in a dark room. But listen to you getting all catty and like. Wow! Exactly. Wow! Why don't you just tell everyone Al, now that boring. you're here. Al, you're, you're in... queer. You I'm will here, not disappear. I'm straight. I will not disappear. <laughs> Al, you found yourself in the middle of the crying game tonight. I don't know what that means or what that film is. All I know is I'm you know straight. it's a film. <laughs> and Randy is boring. All right, stop it. All right, let's get a hold of Heckler and let's do our best bets tonight. Oh, We're all going. Can we do that, Heckler's please? <laughs> Al is a weirdo. Oh, he's into the cart wall. He is crazy and blah, 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 blah. All right. Now I'm just turning that off. I, it's Cowhead's here tonight, right? Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> I'm going to ask Cowhead if we went too far with that. Come here. All right. How do you feel? Too far? Uh, I'm so weirded out that I have to say yes, too far. Or else uh, I wouldn't feel this weird. Cowhead, professional broadcaster. Yeah, How you doing, on. Cowhead? Infinity Good Tampa. Hour. Cowhead checking in. Hello, Cowhead. Thanks, Joe. Cowhead. Uh, Cowhead, you heard the bit. Uh, too far. I actually witnessed it, and yeah. uh, no, I think it was cool. <laughs> 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 All right, now you, uh, you're his friend. Is he going to be so mad at us Monday? He can't see straight, or? Uh, I think it'll be a tool in bringing Al out of the closet. All uh, right. Straight. I've known Al for years. We're, okay. not, we're not like best buddies. You right. Know, we've worked together Megan, a couple what times. what you say is a girl that I... Uh, Feared. There's a girl that... Why? What? Tell everybody what you actually did with Megan. Because you didn't bang her. I did bang. You did not bang you her. You don't know that. 
You oh. messed up a tanning bed, is what you That's did. That's not true. How did he do that? Oh How did he mess up a tanning bed? He tried to use That's not true. He, she, he, my girlfriend worked at a tanning salon. Yeah. And now I was banging the 17-year-old that worked there. Nice. Oh. oh. Who was married at the time to a guy who was in the military. Marriage is a crazy yeah. term to use. What do you mean crazy term? Was she married or not? 17 and married? That doesn't crazy. make sense. Well, what was she? She was a nice girl from a nice family. She's a hooker. She's a hooker. <laughs> a nice she was a nice girl. <laughs> All right, remember. so what happened? Uh, Al, I believe, uh, deflowered her on a tanning salon bed. Which is very classy, considering classy. You know, he lived five minutes away. <laughs> <laughs> but do straight people go to tanning beds in the first place? Yeah, yeah that's true. true. You're, you're over. Don't. You do the same. You're thing. over. No matter what show you're you know, on, you're out. Why? Why We're do you kiss and drop ending. a guy? Yeah. Why can you kiss a guy and why drop him? Why can blindfold a drunk guy and <laughs> do that again? Exactly. That's classy. Yeah. Come right, on, I already, there. Al, I already feel bad enough about this. I don't need you. You should feel bad. Uh, <laughs> I can't wait to get back home and tell everybody. <laughs> oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I tell the three people to listen to the end. All right. right. Oh, don't start. <laughs> <laughs> he has You're no... going to tell the uh, AJ crew or whatever. All right, Al. Above the love sponge. Uh... What, a, what a bitch. Well, he is a bitch. I have never in my entire life Sorry, seen such attitude. And you used to make out with him. <laughs> yeah. That's not oh true. God. Are you not going to see him anymore? Do you, uh, wait, Al, <laughs> now hold guys. on. I'm straight. Remember last week we had Gator? Or yeah. Or the week before? Yeah. Well, all those guys are going to be back and we're taking yeah. Al out. I and why don't you call every day, Randy, and try to get on the air? Because you're boring. <laughs> because you know what? The Radio Chick Show is over. All right. You say the here. same things over and over. Boring. And they're not funny the first time, Al. Right, and they're boring the second time and the third time and the fourth time. <laughs> Cowhead, Randy, you know boring. Al better than anyone else in the room. No, you I think Randy knows him a little better than me. Oh, that's a oh, good oh, point, oh. Cowhead. Now, is Al going to get so mad that he doesn't doesn't speak to us anymore or that he quits on Monday when he sobers up and realizes what happened. Either way, <laughs> how bad of a loss would that really be? That's true, too. Mm. Go ahead. I book some celebrity guests like uh, Ed Asner. Ed Asner is a great idea. You never booked him. I booked Ed Asner. No, you that didn't. They called us. No, no, no. And that was six Several months. Times. That was six months ago. <laughs> Regardless, that was my call. Ed Asner. My prediction is not only will I not be mad, but he will kiss another guy sometime in the future. <laughs> That's not true. Wow. Let me tell you All this, right. Cowhead. I am straight. I like girls. I am not turned on by guys at all. All right. I want you to sign a paper to Jeremy. I'll sign it. All right. Write it. Right. Get a pen. And Go ahead. Whatever you want to do. All right. Write it down, Alan. Get him a sheet of paper. Sign a blank sheet of paper. These Just, guys yeah. are boring that we work with. Go ahead. Okay. Just write down for me. <laughs> write down right. for me. What am I writing? Jeremy. Write Jeremy. Go ahead. You write it down. So just write Jeremy. Go ahead. I'm not writing until I hear the rest of it. <laughs> Jeremy, I kissed a guy by mistake tonight, but I don't hold Ron and Fez responsible, and it was only five seconds. What's the big deal? All right. I'll be in here on Monday to do my job properly. I'm writing Jeremy. I am straight. Oh. Yeah, I am straight. Go ahead. Yet I kissed a guy. Boring. And by mistake. Blindfold doesn't count. Blind. <laughs> write down blindfold doesn't count. Whatever you want to write. Oh, <laughs> you write what you want. Look at that. It's nothing but scribbles. You write what you want. You and you'll sign you it? Want. That's because of the lip wrist. This is what it's called. Blah, 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 blah. Billy, tell you how annoying blah, blah, blah. that is. Billy, type this up for us. That, uh, Billy, type. Why don't Billy type this up? Air Sick is going to be a governor. Right. So we might do some songs you're interested in. We might do some songs you're not. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. The end. Okay. Uh, Billy, type up a note that Al can sign to Jeremy that says, sorry. I accidentally kissed a guy on a Friday night folded. show for five full seconds, blind and folded. I do not blame Ron and Fez for it. What what I'm not signing it. You know what? This, out the window. Why? You know what? This, out the window. Ah, Whatever you want to give me. Stop Al, you're me. Out the you closet. just sold the American flag out the window. Out the window. You know what this can is? Out the window. Al, that's my and this soda. Of water. Out the window. Uh, You're gonna what break something, Al. What else do you want? That's all I'm asking. Boys, take him outside. Take him outside. Folks. Don't take me outside. Take him outside. Whatever you guys want to do. Take him outside. Oh, he's soaking wet he in can't here. Be in the, he can't be in the room. Take him outside. What do you want to do? He's doing a Judy Garland impression yeah, take right now. <laughs> take Judy Garland outside. <laughs> I'm not drunk. Let take me the, out of here. Let I'm go not of the mic. Drunk. I'm gonna go outside. Fine of the mic. <laughs> Nine people can try and pull me away. 
Sorry, that but was I'm a... on, baby. Uh, Hawk, just unplug the mic. I'm rushing out. Okay, Take, him out, Take him out the door. Take him out of the room. <laughs> Thank you, Hawk. Look, he's fighting and won't leave the room. <laughs> oh, he's trying to kick. This... Oh, he just kicked over the trash can. It's Jim Morrison in Connecticut when they tried to pull him off the stage. This is like Elton John in the in 1984 documentary. <laughs> Tantrums and tiaras? That's right. <laughs> oh, now this place is a wreck. And he threw my soda away, yeah. Ronnie. Well, he made out with a guy. I kind of so. feel bad. Yeah. No, I don't. <laughs> you? I'm out of soda. And a producer. Can I work here? <laughs> He's a psycho. I got a resume in my car. <laughs> Galhead, we'd love to have you. <laughs> it's just that you know that the puking's going to start any second. Hey, Heckler. Thank you, Freddie Fry. <laughs> Heckler, you, hey, buddy. Can you follow that act? <sighs> I don't know. It's impossible. And i got to give respect to the ladies in the house because... Thank you. When he called them a Thank whore, <laughs> yeah. I mean, he should have had his, like, uh, neck, neck snapped, I Thanks, guess. Or Thank one of the girls should have kicked him into no, Jimmy. I doubt him that in beer. He got a can snapped on his head. Well, you girls owe him a good one. I'm right right between to, the legs. I'm ready to give him a good one. Take care of that guy. I don't want to get arrested, but he's a loser. Who really cares what he thinks? Oh, you know, I thought I thought all he the was kids hot, at school have turned on him. Yeah, right? He'll be stopping in one of those uh, turnpike men's stalls on the way home. Oh, jeez. Oh, like in that movie, there's something about Mary. <laughs> Pretty much, isn't that what like the gay lifestyle is all about? Oh, oh. Like, uh, no! Top. I thought we were gonna talk football. Come on, look at George Michael. I'd rather not. <laughs> It's a gay thing. It's a, it's accepted culturally, and, you know, gay guys like the bathroom stall. You got the glory hole, the stall. I mean, come on. And WNEW Studios. <laughs> hey, doesn't make you a bad person. Hey. All I right. got a few show tune CDs in my collection. Uh, Jeremy, uh, Jeremy is getting this. Uh, Billy typed it up for us. See if you like it. All right. It's I acknowledge... With two C's. I acknowledge <laughs> that on Friday's show, I kissed a man for five seconds. It did not matter whatsoever that I was blindfolded and heretofore did not blame or hold Ron and Fez at all responsible for those actions, Al Dukes. All right, get him to sign this. All right? Are you still kicking the furniture outside in the green room? Can I challenge Al to a fight? Uh no, not tonight. No. He's no. not tonight. But can I can I box him? Sure you can. Uh huh. Okay. Sure you can. <laughs> can I take him to the prom? <laughs> you already did. Yeah. Is that, is that I what you're calling did. it now? <laughs> we got right to the taking chain. it to the prom. Good I'm bet. sorry. I just still can't uh, forget about Al uh, making out with Randy. <laughs> what is Al? I keep hearing football, but then I just yeah. keep thinking of that. Well, Al's a seven and a half point favorite. That he is guy. <laughs> He's taking the dog to home. Any bucks right. on oral? He he took he took up the memo. He rolled it up. He threw it against the wall. Cursed me, and uh, that's when I came back in here. All right, Pantera came back in. What is Al's physical status right now? Al is just cursing the show, cursing everybody here. He wants out. <laughs> All right, br bring him back in. All right, hold on. This is the yeah. phase we call denial in the gay community. <laughs> wow. The I think we're in the, the anger phase. phase. Yeah. Yeah. The fifth stage is Broadway. <laughs> <laughs> you do it, Miss. Ow. <laughs> I'm sorry, Freddie Fright. What? He's flipping furniture. He's turning. Why is he flipping furniture? He's not breaking Anthony's foosball oh. table, is he? Hold on. Well, he moved it. He He's gone. It. He He's gone. He's not. Around. Well, don't let him leave the building. <sighs> What a thing to have to say. Now I'm Dr. Yeah. Evil. Don't let him leave the building. He flipped the foosball table and he will only talk to Cowhead. So, whoever that is, please, please talk to him. Yeah, but he kissed a guy. The guy who came. All right. Billy, what's going on with uh, Al? Where's Al? What is going on? Billy, where exactly is Al? Al is now sitting in uh, Air 3. Okay. Um... Commanding people, um, get me cowhead. Uh, <laughs> right, can we can we hook up the uh, mic to cow the wireless region cow three? Is, is, is there a mic in there? Is there any way to bring up Air Three that's on the board here? Oh, that's a good idea. I'll ask Rory. Yeah. All right. Can you bring up Air Three? Rory, is there a way to bring up the mic to in break? Air Three? Do we need to take a break? Are we taking it home from here. Uh, we can take a break, or do you want to take it home? Well, we can it take it home. Matter. What's the best way? We'll take it home. 
Take it home. Okay. See if we can't We're get out. In the air. I don't like him trying to f flip that foosball game. Yeah, well, the whole green room is askew, it's to pick a word. Yeah. The, the foosball table's all half a jar. He's sitting in there. He's all cursing and screaming. Why? I, and I told Coward, you said, better calm the guy down because he's, he's dissing everybody and saying bad stuff to everyone, and someone's <laughs> going to wind up hurting him. Billy, you done? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> well, all we're trying to do is get it. We're trying to calm one maniac I'm not a down. Cop. I'm no. not a cop. You suddenly filled in for Al. Got any big, in the house? Uh, the maybe a coffee. comma every once in a while out of you guys. Is the black right. coffee going? Everybody thinks that the sh when they, I call them on the show, it's a monologue. <laughs> This it's is like your Shakespeare. This is the physical manifestation of what Tom Cruise is doing right now. Yeah, that's true. He does it with lawsuits. <laughs> Al does it with furniture. What is Al so furious about? What's got him mad? Is Cowhead talking to him? When I left, yes, it was just him and Cowhead in the other studio. Melissa, did you say it take place? I was talking to him, and he seemed okay. Like, he was really, like, I told him it was me that he kissed because he was freaking out that he kissed a boy. So I said, no, 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 it was me. You know, so that he wouldn't worry. But he got up and he flipped over the foosball table for like he just freaked out. I he just knew I guess that I was lying, and he freaked out and he flipped over the foosball table. He's not happy. Real funny now, huh, Randy? Lesbians good, Ronnie hey, bad apparently <laughs> in the Ronnie. radio world. Yeah. I think uh, Al must have belched and tasted Randy. <laughs> oh, gosh. Hey, how does a gay man fart? Oh. Uh. <laughs> Where did I hear that joke? I heard that joke somewhere. And I so heard. many men, so little time. What's going on? R Rory, can we bring up that room? Is it physically possible? Rory's concerned because Al is swearing so much. That's a okay. microphone. Tape it. There's no way to get him on the air as it is. But can we physically put him on the air? We we can, but uh, we just we just need to uh, turn the mic on, and I, a lot of people are scared to go in there when he's he's, he's furious right now. So. Uh, let him go. All right. Al, you're a crazy party guy. Here's uh, somebody who says they're uh, Al's friend from a long time. Trish. Trish. Hey, Trish. Hey. Hey, honey. I feel so bad for him. I can't believe you guys did that to him. Oh, it barely happened. It doesn't matter. He's not gay. I've known him for 14 years. I just went on vacation with him. He's so not gay. And did you get it's a piece? Terrible. Well, I mean, what could be so terrible? He kissed you the guy. You kiss a man. I didn't make him. Oh, my God. Can he hear me? Yes. Talk to him. Oh, yeah. Al. <laughs> I feel so bad for you. He, he's not going to be able to answer you back. Oh, God. He's in a different room, but he can hear you through the speakers there. No. That's terrible. He's just so right, horrible. What are you saying? Can can he talk to us? All right, Kenny? He, he, can't, he can't talk to us physically, yeah. but uh, we can listen in on him talking. Well, I don't want to do that. do that? No. Okay. All right. His friend Thank John's you, here. Maybe he can talk to him. Well, there's no way for us. Uh, he's in a different production room, and there's no way for us to talk to him well, and hear him back. All right. There's no way to have a conversation. All right. That's terrible, though, you guys. It's horrible. What part? Making him kiss a guy. I think he deserves to punch Randy right in the face. Whoa. <laughs> I don't think he wants that. No, he you are to be treating right. Randy like he's an animal. That uh, doesn't matter. What? He's in the, he got him drunk, and then he gave him a guy to kiss. It's terrible. We didn't get him drunk. This is his thing. Yeah, but still. Now I feel like you're judging us. Well, you you put a guy in front of him and blindfolded him. All right, when you say it that way, yeah. It does come <laughs> right, up. yeah. It does come off like a setup. But, you know, Randy has a point. Look at all these people never complaining about girls kissing. Look at little Melissa. She kissed a girl last time she was here. Yeah. Yeah, but she wanted to. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. You didn't blindfold her. Huh. Yeah, that's right. Well, you should be like an attorney or something. Yeah, right. I just feel so bad for him, and now you got him so angry. You know, he wasn't angry until we made him leave the studio. Yeah, that's then he got, got angry. Well, he sounded angry before you made him leave. No, he just kept yelling, boring, boring, boring over and over. And would you kiss someone if you were blindfolded, not knowing who it was? He knew it was a guy. He knew I, was I don't coming. think he knew. He didn't know there was a guy in the I room. Ca I called up half an hour before saying I was coming into the studio. Is that coincidence? But he's drunk. He's had one beer. <laughs> he did not have one He's beer. had one beer, beer and one queer. Like that. <laughs> Who's All right, sure? Trish. All right, you're mad at us. I'm I'm so upset. Okay. All right. Find him a girl then. 
<laughs> We're working on it. So that he doesn't have to keep going on couples vacations. We're working on it. Hey, we had a good time. There's no couples. All friends. All right. Say, Fuzzy, everyone's mad at us now. Oh, I'm so mad. I'm not. That was funny. Dan from Hoboken. I, I, I honestly, I do kind of feel guilty. Well, you are 100 percent guilty. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one who did it. But you must feel like a monster now. <laughs> Not really. No. There's DNA evidence. <laughs> There's DNA evidence. Maybe he's not gay. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we know. Oh. Yeah. Now we know, and we can go on from here. Yeah. Or maybe he is. And we'll find out when we take him to a gay bar next week. <laughs> <laughs> We're probably going to put that off. Oh, no. We'll kill everyone there. We'll start throwing the furniture. And, you know, that wasn't the part that he was throwing the furniture about. I was throwing the furniture because it, we finally uh, I got him to leave the room. Yeah, we just couldn't control him in here, and he threw away my soda. So we had, we had Hawk unplug the microphone that he was just clinging to, and Pantera carried him out. Hey, uh, Mike, Mike, you're on my affairs. How you doing, Mike? Hey, hey guys, Mike. what's going on? Yeah. I just wanted to say, you know, it's all fun and games until gay Randy molests Sal. <laughs> Pantera, would you stop, please? <laughs> yeah, stop with that thing. All right. Matter of fact, you got to leave that here. <laughs> you know, this whole thing reminds me of growing up in Pinellas Park, Florida. Nothing like this ever happened there. <laughs> as much as you wanted it to. As, you can wish and hope. <laughs> as much as you would dream. <sighs> I think this is my final see you. Yeah, no, not at all. <laughs> Hold on. You know what, Fezzy? Let me go try to get him. Okay. All right. See what you can do. All right. Situation that's going on right now. Started out as a normal Ron and Fez Friday. Playing the beer games, we played Beer Factor, we played Beer Pong, and we played Beer Hunter. Al lost every single one of them. <laughs> so that didn't have him too happy. Then it was the Blindfold Kiss, which turned out to be Gay Randy. And where we're at right now is Al's pretty upset. We asked, he wouldn't shut up. He kept yelling the word boring <laughs> over and over again. So what happened was we asked Hawk to unplug his microphone. Pantera took him out of the building, and that's uh, not out of the building, but out of the room. And that's when he got really upset. So right now he's kind of holed up inside another production room, which is adjacent to this studio. And Ronnie has gone to try to talk to him. We can't bring up that studio on the air, so we can't bring any of that. But we'll wait and see if Ronnie's able to bring him back in. And I really feel bad for him. Do you, Pantera? You were the one who had to carry him out of the room. How was he when... Was, is that when he started getting really violent? He started kicking the uh, the, the, the desks over. He got up and he, he flipped the foosball table. Uh -huh. I really felt bad for him. He was pretty pissed off. Oh, okay. And he's just soaking wet in beer. Oh, yeah. He's just completely covered. He's got that beer stank. <laughs> Here comes Ronnie back. All right, I'll take uh, the Eagles over the Rams. I tried to get him uh, to come in, but uh, he said uh, it's too much pressure that Conan O'Brien only has to do four hours a week. <laughs> right. And he's got to do 20 hours a week. Oh, okay. And he can't I can take, understand that. He can't take this kind of pressure. Okay. So it's the, the Conan excuse. Yeah. <laughs> 1027 W N E W. New York. I have to bring up something uh, quick. Yes, Anthony? Uh, you know, after our show here in New York, Ron and Fez come on. I have a huge problem with a member of Ron and Fez's show. Al Dukes, the faggot? The producer guy, whatever it is. Remember uh, a few weeks back, they got him all drunk and asked him questions about everybody that worked here. And uh, my name was brought up, and he goes, nice guy, a guy I'd like to go drink him with. You know why? Because I really, I don't say much, I'm pretty quiet. I'm pretty nice to everybody, right? Mm -hmm. Until they F up. This tool is th that guy that, you know, when something good was around, whether it be, I don't know, a TV, a stereo, or a foosball table, <laughs> and one douchebag, you'd come in the next day and it would be broken for some reason, and you'd go, well, who did this? Oh, dickbag did it. You know, ass, munch, wipe, douche. He broke it. So now, like, it's screwed for everyone. They did something to Al Dukes, I guess, Friday. 
made him kiss a man or something. I don't know. Seems to me, knowing him, he'd probably like it. But uh, he get all he gets all pissed off, and I hear he flipped over the foosball table. Broke the scoring thing on top. The, someone had to fix it. It's completely out of whack now. It's not level at all. It's all screwed up. Because he has a hissy fit. The foosball table I brought down so we could have fun during commercials. I don't need this tool tipping over crap that we have around here for our in entertainment. So now I'm completely pissed off at that douchebag, and uh, I, I don't want to see him. Why? He's such a don't fun see guy. Him. You know something? Yeah, fun guy. Keep him in the effing office, and when I leave and go to my office, then he can come out and come down to the studio. Oh, you're giving him the Carol Miller treatment. That's right. Nice. And that was totally uncalled for. I mean, I received oral treats from a tranny, and I didn't break anybody's games. You didn't go breaking people's games. You didn't break the Pac-Man machine out, you know, outside. Not there, at right? all. He's just one of those guys that will ruin crap for everybody. You know, the foosball table's out there. Everyone's having fun with it. We don't care if people from other shows use it. It's out there for fun. But there's always one jerk-off that's got to break it or wreck it or something. You know, just chill out. You're such an ass wipe. There you go. The Al Douche segment of uh, my rant for the I day. know why I never said hi to the guy. You know, I always start <laughs> off being just a nice guy. No, I'm serious. Don't like him and think he's an idiot. We'll do anything to get his name on the radio. He's a loser. And a he complete flips, and flips over the foosball table. Loser. It's not your table to go flipping over, you jerk off. We all like uh, playing it during commercials and stuff. And because of some douchebag like Al Dukes, we're not going to be able to do it if he decides to tip it over and snap a leg off it or something. Wants to be loved so bad he'll do anything for the the Ron and Fez show, and he's pathetic. When you when you have something like that happen, you got to do it like a man. You go home, you wash the foul breath off your junk, and you take it like a man. <laughs> right. <laughs> Ass. And was he really that pissed off, or do you think he had to make a scene? To make sure people, uh, you know, they think he was. If you want to make <laughs> right, if you want to make a scene, bust one of the many windows and slit your throat on it. I heard he tipped it over with his rod. <laughs> or, or be, a, <laughs> or be a real man and go after Ron and Fez if they put you in that position. You stupid idiot! You didn't think they were gonna like trick you and have you kiss a guy? You fag! Rude he, and ru rude. He ruins other people's uh, equipment. Great, uh, Alexis. Dave. Hey, I'm Anthony, and I'm crying about my food table. <laughs> I'm a faggy. I'm a faggy. Shut up. Hey, ow, 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 I don't think I was really crying about it. I, no, but I think it, I was just getting no. pissed that See, people you, don't you, have, people, you have something good and someone will always be there to wreck it. But people don't understand. If it was anyone else but Al Dukes, I'd be yeah. like, oh, well. Hey, right, blow it off. Who cares? The S happens. But the guy, I just don't like that guy. Tip over something He's else. He's so desperate to be loved and wanted. Yeah. yeah. He's really a pathetic mess. <laughs> He's a pathetic, sad mess. He's the type of guy when, like, you know, you're in a fraternity, you'd make run around naked and stuff, and you would just abuse the really? pee out of him. Yeah, in public, just make him do the most ridiculous things, going, don't worry, by the end of this, you'll be one of us. And then you you make sure at the end, you tell him to go F himself. Go away. <laughs> you know, I could only hope that if he ever does tip the foosball table over again, it falls and crushes him. That would be the only way it would uh, work out for the best. Must be wanted so bad. Why would you break your friend's game? I don't get it. Because he doesn't. It's one of those people that don't think about like their actions or any consequence or anything. Yeah, it's just a, it's just a foosball tale. It's not like oh man, it's gold plated or something. You know, it, but it, it's something we like doing. But we during take commercials. We take care of each other because we right. are a club, and he's just a he's just a douche. And that, we're not going around. That, we that is go, on the outside looking in and wants to be part of this yeah. so bad. And we wouldn't go trashing anything. I can't anything wait for them to fire him. Yeah, and it will happen. Uh -oh. If if uh, O puts the word out, it's over. You know that. Hope he could get people fired very easily around here. Shut up. <laughs> but uh, you know, it has nothing to do. It's more. It's more about just respecting the other shows and the, and and the equipment of the other shows and stuff than it is uh, a foosball table. Ken, I think tonight uh, uh, Al's going to have anal with a, a guy that was just released from prison, just so he's uh, so he's wanted a little more. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I, oh shucks, I'm mad. That I did that? Will you maybe invite me out after the show for a beer if I do this? Okay, I'll do it. But can I, can, can he at least wear a condom? 
Jeez. I don't want the hiv. How many times did he just get his ass kicked in school? Hey, Ken. Are you going to make him buy another one? No. What are you kidding? Oh, come on. No, it, it still works. But the thing is, it had to be fixed. And now it's all out of level. The guy just, he's not, he doesn't think. That's all. Oh. All right, Ken. You know what, Fags? Yeah, Fags usually don't. Bye. All right. <laughs> Hey, Al, are you going to get a, a tattoo so you feel love? <laughs> are you going to get a tattoo of Ronnie on your right ass and, and Fezzy on your left ass? And then, and then make like you're all pissed off about it, but you, it, it, but you really think it's great because you were involved for a day? Oh, and if you think there's a radio bit, just watch when we pass each other in the hall. Look in our eyes and see how real it is, you pathetic loser who wants to be loved. Go get a tattoo. Jackal. Jackal. Go get a tattoo of your favorite radio personality. There you fag. There you go. You made out with a guy and you couldn't handle it, so you effed with us. Mm -hmm. God, I hate that kid. <laughs> I will laugh so hard the day Ronnie comes in our office and goes, How to fire him? How to fire him? Still love the Ronnie Fez. No, he doesn't have a tattoo of the fabulous sports babe on his butt because it wouldn't, it wouldn't <laughs> fit. Ron and Fez, 1027 WNEW. Hey, uh, Ray, Ray, you're on the uh, Ron and Fez show. Hey, Ray. Hey, how's it going, guys? Big car, um, card number 1234. Cool. That sounds made up. <laughs> it was. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got me. No, I just want to know uh, what's uh, five punch. Blah, blah, blah. Five pump chumps comments on uh, Anthony's uh, little not too happy comments about the football table. Oh, the All five right, pump now, jump. That would be Al Dukes. You know, we should probably get into this a little later on. Everybody here upset with Al Dukes, uh, and Anthony especially because it's his damn foosball table. Al Dukes uh, once again got drunk at work, which to me is a fireball offense, Fez. Sure. And this time... Drinking on the job. He went crazy in here on Friday night and kicked over a foosball table. Was asked to leave the studio when he started throwing stuff, including my own personal property. And literally was run out of uh, the studio. I don't know whether you ever saw that Jim Morrison clip when he was, uh, like, in Connecticut or someplace like that, and they had to pull, and there was cops on each side, and just bum-rushed him through a room. Okay. That's how Al looked when we had to get him out of the studio, when he was literally throwing beer, throwing things in the studio. And uh, as he was out there, he, he went crazy and started kicking over uh, tables, chairs, and Anthony's foosball table. Yeah, that foosball table is a pretty good size. That's a good square kick you got there, Al Duke. It's like, a, here's what I can't understand. Mm -hmm. How did you break it, Al? I guess the weight of it when it fell over, something broke in it. All right, Al, let me uh, point this out to you. A foosball game, a guy that has a bar or the boardwalk will have the same one for 38 years. Sure. These things never break. Bands uh, set their equipment up. They, they put concerts on these things. People fight over them. That's Children why, are born on these foosball tables. That's why the little foosball guys never have any paint on them, because they've lasted for decades. And what do we like to do? Play during the breaks. Yeah, and who does it belong Everybody to? Everybody does. Who does that belong to? Uh, Anthony, I think it's his, but he sort of brought it in here for everyone. Well, that doesn't make it uh, not his anymore. He He's didn't, still the owner. And didn't bring it in for everyone to kick over. Did you apologize to him? Uh, I tried here at the changeover, but uh, Opie in particular was calling me nasty names and very angry. What kind of names? Faggot. <laughs> All right, let's go through why O and I are mad at you, okay? Okay. Uh, you got drunk on the air one time and took a lot of shots at him. You broke the foosball table, and then also you were behind this practical joke with Angel Amy getting her a tattoo with Opie's face on her arm where it said O and A Opie loves Amy I thought I did that as like a funny thing that I thought it'd be funny right, but let me point this out to you because I talked to Ope about that and people in his family were a little yeah. distraught by that as well they should be think of what is you know what the hell's going on down there so you're loading up reasons for other people not to like you anymore 
I know people are calling me going, why don't you fire Al? I go, I, I didn't hire Al. Yeah. Al uh, came in from Infinity Broadcasting. He's uh, one of these many golden boys that are all part of the Jeremy Coleman uh, kind it, of a good buddy network. It's Jeremy Coleman's destined to lead group. Right. That he puts together these seminars. Now, Manny Moonshine is one of those, and he's right. already floating between shows. So, uh, I don't, obviously, it's Monday, so Jeremy wasn't here today. But, you know, we have to have a sit-down. And this is a test of character of nothing else. I mean, number one, you got to apologize to those guys. Number two, you got to fix that foosball table. Yeah. Or buy a brand new one. It's time to make amends. I think they fix them, that there are places that'll fix them. Well, what's that got to do with us? You should be not sitting here thinking. Wishing and hoping and singing and praying. So you're more singing about this right. one. Get it done. You've had three days, right? I, I didn't realize it was broken until today. You know, you kicked it over, right? Uh, they pe- Some people have told me that, but I don't remember doing that. You don't remember knocking over a foosball table? No. I don't remember uh, most most of the things from Friday. You don't remember them all? That's good for you. Yeah. The let's, fact that you don't remember most is way. good for you. As well as Fezzeman. Yeah. Hey, uh, Mike. Mike, you're on Ron and Fez. Hey, Mike. What's going on, Ron and Fez? Hey, buddy. Yo, I want to ask Al something. Yeah. Yo, Al, do you want to see the show prosper or what? Yes, I do. Because honestly, every time Ron and Fez start doing good, you got to go and screw up. That's and, like, true. Make enemies with every other radio jock on the station. That's true, Al. O and A got a lot of power, and by messing with them, they you're got the, the juice. Guys. It's like we play on the Giants, and you're effing with Barry Bonds. Why don't you go picking on somebody else around here? I didn't purposely pick on them when on these things. You apparently targeted the foosball table. You're a nasty drunk, my friend. Yeah, have you known that in the past? Have people said that to you? No, I've never had that problem before, but I also uh, never used to black out, not remember things. Like You totally blacked out, or is that just an excuse? No, I very few things I remember. Very and, few. And the post show comments about my weight hurt. Let me just put it that way. Don't get personal about all that stuff. You got personal about a lot of stuff when you're drinking. You're a mean drunk. I understand that now. I I didn't mean to say. And how many things. times did I tell you? You don't need to be drinking on a during office hours. We do a show here. It's a show. And our yeah. office hours go to eleven o'clock at night. And here's the other funny thing. I want to move on and do our show, okay? But you were brought in by Jeremy to calm us down. That's true. To make sure things like broken foosball tables don't happen. I'm sure that's on one of his lists somewhere. And you were never brought in to be on the air, yet you're on the air constantly. You're either talking or it's about you. And a matter of fact, you had to be thrown out of here the other night because you wouldn't shut up. And that's when you went on your rampage. That's when you started the throwing stuff and had to be bum-rushed. I don't remember uh, getting thrown out. And you know, Fez has a uh, bad pelvis. Right. And you were right on top of me when they finally had to take you out. You were like standing right next to me. What if you would have ruined Fez's faulty pelvis? That would not have been good. I have a hairline fracture that could shatter at any moment. Your pelvis would just fracture? Yeah. Could actually just shatter. All right. uh, So anyway, that's some of the the insanity. Jay, Jay, you're on Ronifest. Hi, Jay. Hey, what's up, Ronifest? Hey, buddy. What can we do for you, Jay? Hey, uh, Al, you said you don't remember anything? Uh, You're going to tell me you don't remember anal with Gay Randy? That didn't happen. What was Gay Randy even doing in here, Al? That's an excellent question. I've been asking that all day. No one has an answer for me. Your whole thing that uh, Jeremy said is you're supposed to be in charge of everybody who comes in and out of this place. Right, anyone who comes down Because the office is closed. Right. So you had to have invited them to get them past security. I don't know how that happened. And you ask people all day long about Gay Randy? Just how did he... I didn't even know he was... Where's Gay Randy? 
I didn't even know he was going to be here on Friday. And then uh, He called on the air while we were doing the show. Uh, that part I don't remember. Kevin, Kevin, you're on Ron and Fez. Hi, Kevin. Hey, what's going on, boys? Hey, buddy. What can we do He's for you? He's lying. Yeah. He's lying about Friday. You there, boys? Yeah, we're yeah. Hey, I'm having a tough time hearing you because I'm working as well. Why do you think mm. he's lying? I think he's lying because he's Jeremy's boy. That's what I think. Yeah. I think if he's Jeremy's boy, he's learned how to cover his tracks pretty good. Nobody knocks over a foosball table that big. Those things are friggin' enormous. I know they are, man. Right. That, that you know, thing's so premeditated. As a matter of fact, we couldn't even move it one night. We said, let's move it back. We couldn't move it. Yeah, the, I, um, that's I, what I'm being told. Though, and then right? all of a sudden, you, Jackie Chan, with one kick. I know. What's with the Jackie Chan bit? I'm not, I normally I don't, don't even kick stuff. Well, that's good to know. My shins feel much safer in here. All right, let's get to, let, let's start correcting. You know, to me, what you said to me, that's forgotten. Forget about it. Thank you. What you said to Fez, it's up to him, but I know Fez, it'll be forgotten. Right. What you said to Billy Staples and other people, I think, could be forgotten. But there's one physical thing that happened. You broke Anthony's foosball table. You got to repair it, right? This, this is a time mm. of character. Right. Yeah, no. now it's time to make the amends. You've made the mistakes. Now comes the real test of character. How do you make up for these mistakes? What are you going to do? Um, I'd like to get it repaired. If anyone... My uh, pelvis? No, the foosball table. Oh. If anyone in the, the audience knows how... All right, to... so now you're asking other people to fix your problem. If anyone knows a foosball repairman? I would think they do that. Those things must break. That's the first one I've ever seen go. So if, ever. Any, if anyone... Uh, I think people, they do that. So if anyone repairs foosball tables, it could help me out. And another thing, Al, that if I was you, I would do, is pick a better fight. Do not pick your fights as being Opie and Anthony. That is, they're the last... It's like being a CBS and picking on Letterman. It's just mm -hmm. stupid. Right. Right. Start with some of those touched by an angel people. No, they're the last guys I would... But you do it every time you're drinking. But what happens is, when I drink like that, I black out, I don't remember it, I don't remember doing it. I mean, that's, I think, the problem, the blacking out. Can't you make a mental note not to do that? I, I didn't plan on doing it, but... And, and I never really happened in the past, but now when I drink... Lately, it's like I I black it out. Maybe that's part of my problem. Every time you drink, you black out. It, yeah, for big chunks of the night or the day that that this happens. So how do you feel the next day when you wake up? Um, well, I don't know what happened, so I try to call the people that were there that would be able to tell me. And then well, you didn't call me. You didn't call yeah. Fez. Well, I was I didn't know uh, if I said bad things about you guys. Yes, so you did. I want it. Yeah. I, I know most I, of the things that you said about us, because we sat down with you after we, uh, you know, you were pretty emotional and we, we picked up the rampage and all. We just sat there and took it. Mm -hmm. But here's what I, the, the only thing about it now. I know it wasn't coming off the top of your head. This stuff seemed like it was well th thought out for a drunk person. It was such a laundry list, Ronnie. Yeah. It was almost a mantra of here's the things that I hate. Now, here's the other thing. You and made the people. It, you made it seem like Fez and I went down to Florida, grabbed you, brought you to New York, and ruined your life. Like at some part of Florida radio slave trade we're involved right. in. Where I remember you flying here, because I'd never met you before. <laughs> Jeremy had nothing but great things to say to you. The Infinity people had great things to say about you. You supposedly made the uh, sports babe into the uh, greatest thing that ever happened on radio. Kua! 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 Before, according to you, health mm -hmm. problems, sidelined her. Another so, cracked pelvis. All that happens, yet you sit there and talk mm -hmm. to me and Fez the other night. And I don't even get into the, uh, I'm very weirded out over this uh, Amy tattoo. Yeah, that weirdness was still going on, and then this whole episode came in right on top of it. So that was a joke. Yeah, and we didn't kidnap you. Well, you know, we're not very Switzer. We didn't go recruiting. No, no, that was a joke, the tattoo. All right, but here's the situation. What's the name of the, the show? Uh, Ron and Fez Show. Ron and Fez Show. 
If it's a Ron and Fez show, Ron and Fez should be running the jokes. Not Al. I should say to you, I have an idea for a joke, and then you make it happen. Now you go, I'm going to fool Ron and Fez by using another, sh mm -hmm. uh, another show's name, face, everything. It's just ridiculous anymore. And you notice we didn't fall out laughing about the tattoo. Or anything. The first ball? No. <laughs> Whatever happens between you and Randy, it all is making us uncomfortable. And we're supposed to be doing a show here, right? Now right. we're not. 20 minutes into it, we're literally cleaning up the slop from the other night. Joe, Joe, you're on with us. Hi, Joe. Hey, guys. Yeah. I think you're missing the uh, most important event from the other night. Yeah. Fez lost his soda. Yeah. Why would you, yeah, why are you doing grabbing Fez's soda? Threw my can of soda across the room. That I had been saving. I wanted that after the show. As a treat. It doesn't Apparently I didn't need any soda from what I heard afterwards, Ronnie. Yeah, I know. In the, in the post-show tirade. You yeah. know, Al talks about I tried to call people the next day. Well, you couldn't get me because I was on the treadmill, <laughs> I guess, where I belong. Steven, Steven, you're on Ron and Fez. Yo, fellas, what's up? Yeah. I'm as furious as Anthony now. Hi, uh, Steven. Usually, guys, when I call up, I'm, I'm uh, the only time I do call up is when I got some a problem with Al. Uh, right now, I think you guys are getting a little, little too hard on him right now. All right, why is that? Well, you know, he was drunk. You guys uh, included him in the in the game, and uh, you made him, you know, do something that most guys don't want to do, and he, he lost his mind. I think I would be the first, and especially. <laughs> I... O oh, and A getting all ticked off. He They're the last money. guys because they, those guys would be going flipping off the edge. You know, if someone. All right, hold on, hold on before you say all this. Yeah. Number one. Yeah. Did this happen after the Randy incident? Hours after the Randy incident. Right. Hours. Hours. I don't know about hours. I'll say an hour. I think he was more embarrassed at, at first. No. And then I think it no. kind of sunk in. He what went happened. crazy. He, just... he went crazy. When I had him removed from the studio and by had, security. And we I had 20 minutes left in the show at that point. Yeah. I think you guys just pissed him off. I would, I'd be the same way. If someone tried to pull that with me, you know, like I said, I'm not a huge Al supporter, but in this All case, right, let me just I'm on this. his side. Would you blindfold yourself <laughs> in front of Gay Randy and say, somebody kiss me and we'll see who it is? I don't, no, was not. Gay Randy in the room? I don't know. I believe he was. Was he? Yeah. As far as I remember. And Steven, Answer me, Stephen. But... I don't, I don't know, because when I'm drunk, I do stupid... All right, how many people in here were drunk? Like yeah, seven. I, I was hammered, guys. I know why, Al. You <laughs> had nothing but beers, and I guarantee you, you didn't drink a six-pack. I, I don't know how much I had to drink. I did only have beers, but uh, I don't know. I guess I guess I'm more of a lightweight. Huh. I think Apparently I not the way you're kicking over foosball tables. And I'm surprised you didn't knock down a roller coaster. And to answer Stephen's initial charge... The things Al was upset about after the show when he was letting us have it in spades had nothing to do with the Randy thing whatsoever. Right. You never bitched about the Randy thing. That was the least of his worries. My cholesterol topped that big time. Brian, you're on run of What's up, guys? Hi, Brian. I love your show. I just had a question, yeah. okay? What I'm confused about is I thought that... Al kissing Randy caused all of the problems. He's showing no emotion to this. Am I wrong here? No, I'm uh, obviously upset that that happened. I don't remember when that well, incident he, occurred and when the rage happened. I don't. I don't. Well, remember what any what he's saying is, if you're so uh, if it's so outrageous, you're so mad. And if you're not why aren't gay, you mad now? If I'm you're mad not now. Gay, I can control my emotions when I'm not drinking. I see. Oh, but thank Al, you, Dr. You, David Banner. But Al, you All right, let me answer this. You're not if dead. I had you removed from the studio right now, would you start going crazy? <laughs> no, I'd walk. I'd go out if I was being removed. Hawk, <laughs> take him out. Let's just have an experiment. And don't you guys have this on videotape? You said on Friday that it was being taped. That videotape was destroyed. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> yeah. I think my soda got poured on. Yeah, that's it. I had to actually send Billy Staples that... I had to send Billy Staples after that videotape like he was Vincent Vega. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Grabbing that... what was ever in the briefcase in Pulp Fiction. <laughs> that Staples makes a good thug when you need him. Staples actually went nuts himself in here. Yeah, we had to calm him down. You know, I know you don't remember that, Al. 
But yeah. as soon as we get you out of the room, he comes in here and freaks out, screaming at us. And I go, I just stopped the guy from taking over the show by rambling. He, now I got you rambling. He came in on a tirade, and we finally had to say, hey, isn't one maniac enough? And didn't take a breath. Didn't take a breath. All right, Billy Staples, come in here. <laughs> Ah, eight seven seven six nine two one zero two seven. Hi, Staples. Hi, fellas. How are you? Now, here's the other thing, Billy. I'm, I think it's great. You think your trooper and coming to work sick? Do not get me and Fed sick under any circumstances. I'm trying. I'd rather you stay at home than got us sick and cost the show two weeks of hacking and coughing on the air. All right. Well. I'm... All right. Now, the other night yeah. when uh, we called you in and you went crazy, what the hell was going through your mind? Why did you I come need... in so upset after Al Dukes was removed? I need you to be my Vince of Vega. Okay. <laughs> it's just like... I'm Marcellus Wallace. <laughs> it was just like, I just got ticked off because it's like, I got to clean all this stuff up. And it just reminded me a little bit of my own past seeing out like that. And it affected me a little bit. I, how did it affect I, you? It just reminded me because I know I've done stupid things like that. Well, then why couldn't you cut the guy some slack? Because I... Because it just got to me. It was like, yeah, I have a problem with certain things. And I, instead of just saying, you know what, i got to cut the guy slack, it just I brought me into Al's place. All right, so you go to meetings because of the way you used to party, right? <laughs> exactly. Why don't you take Al to one? <laughs> Al, Hi, my you? name is Al. I drink once every two months. <laughs> and uh, for whatever reason, I kick over a football team. <laughs> but I see on all the things that blacking out is a bad sign. Yeah, yeah, it's we, no, kicking over Anthony's football table is a bad sign. For anyone. That's one of the questions on the AA test. They, they they give you questions. But, hey, yeah. You, you think want, he's got a problem? He thinks he has a problem. Do you really know? He's never even drank a six-pack in his life. <laughs> but uh, when I drink now, I black out, so. Is there a history of uh, drinking in your family? Uh, parts of the family. Lightweight drinking? <laughs> <laughs> oh, one of the things he does is, I don't know whether you remember this, you say you never want to discuss your family in the air. Do you stick in with that? Um, no, I like sometimes okay. discussing. No matter what happens. I don't know what's the real out. <laughs> so everything that, uh, yeah. Boy, everything we try to fix. That's ridiculous, Fuzzy. Al, I'm just afraid if you went to one of these meetings, you'd be mocked out of it. <laughs> I'll be the first person in history kicked out of an AA meeting. <laughs> oh, here's another thing that happened, too. One of your creepy friends called. I can't think of her name. Trish. And tried to turn it on us. Have you talked to her since then? Yes, she mentioned that she called. What, what is it with you and your friends annoying people on the show? Uh, I guess she just got very upset at uh, what she was hearing over the air. What did she hear? I, I guess it just... Was you rambling and acting crazy? A lot of chaos, probably. Why would that be our fault? <laughs> What did she say to you? What did you talk about when you talked to her after the fact? She just said, um, I don't know if you heard, but I called in and I was very angry. Did you tell her to apologize to me and Fez? No, I didn't. For interrupting that. our show? That would be a smart thing to do. None of your friends are allowed to interrupt the show anymore. We'll start with that rule. And she claims she's trying to find a girl for you. Yeah. Yeah, she's mentioned that before, but I haven't seen anything yet. She's one of the... Um, one of the couples, not her by herself, her and her husband are one of the couples that I went to Niagara Falls. With. They're not couples. They went as five friends. <laughs> oh, that's right. Jeez. Let me have a flashback you know to what? that face job we took. Being in the car with her, if I was you, I'd be turned off women. I would. I'd, I'd be sitting there thinking, I'd rather go down on the guy than hear this uh, screaming in my ear. No uh, way to get her in a barrel while you were near the falls. No, she's normally very quiet, so. If that was different she when she called girl. in. Oh, she's nuts. And I don't need your friends calling and making me and Fuzz feel bad about ourselves. About a situation where everyone already felt bad. Yeah. Because trust me, that show did not end the way we hoped. That did not go out on any sort of high note. Hey, uh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> that thing slinked <laughs> off into the night on Friday. Slinked off. Like someone turned the light on a kitchen cockroach. And then all of our hot chicks that we wanted to get drunk got nothing because Al took up everything. I know. We got to do nothing with our drinking girls. And if you think uh, my idea of a show was have uh, Al uh, get drunk and alienate the Opie and Anthony show, you're out of your mind. No, that wasn't my plan either. 
Yes. Yeah, if you want to check your show, show schedule from last Friday, I don't think those things were on there. Hey, uh, Jennifer, you're on Run a Fez. Hi, Hi guys. Jennifer. Hi, guys. Yeah. Um, I was actually just calling to say that I have a brand new in the box foosball table that uh -huh. I do not want, and you guys are more than welcome to have if it will smooth things over with O and A. All right, maybe it would, Jennifer, but what kind of foosball table? Can't be a kitty kind. Okay? Yeah, no, no, it's. It's a regular foosball table. It was actually a shower gift um, to my husband and myself. We had no room. A baby can't play foosball. It. How much do huh? you think it weighs? Oh, God, I can't even move it. I can't move the box. Oh, so I'll come over and kick it big. over. All right, the official weight is 150 pounds. Um, I and I'll have kick that over. Yeah. Well, what do you think you weigh? <laughs> I weigh like 120. All right, so put some rocks in your pockets. <laughs> All right, Al, what do you think of this? Maybe uh, maybe this is your way out. Yeah, I would like to uh, talk to, you know, take her phone number down. I'd love to get this one repa repaired. Oh, okay, so her giving you a foosball table is not enough. No, that would be great, too, but I don't know if Anthony, you know, has any type of attachment to that one or if we could fix but that one. This isn't one of those. What do you think he is, some kind of retard that loves this foosball table? Not at all. <laughs> it wasn't like a brand new one, but you're acting like, uh, these are not mine. <laughs> Jennifer, this isn't one of those that converts into ping pong Better and not. air hockey, too, right? No, it's just a, just a foosball table. Uh, why don't you want it? Uh, well, because actually now I'm in the process of getting a divorce. Oh, what happened? And he doesn't want it, and I don't want it, so. What happened? This is just like Joey and Chandler. What happened between you two? Um, um, just irreconcilable differences, I guess. Oh, jeez. How long Who? were you together? Three years. Which one was cheating? Neither. Yeah, right. Okay. Fine. <laughs> you saved that story for your folks. <laughs> well, uh, Al, maybe uh, this is your way out of this. I don't know. Well, it's up to you guys. All right. Hold on, uh, Jennifer. That's very nice of you, Jennifer. Three years, and they never took this foosball table out of the box. That's insane. No wonder the marriage didn't last. Right. No commitment. You're not making sense. Hey, uh, Heather, you're on Rana Fez. Uh, hi, guys. Hi, baby. I just wanted to tell Al Dukes to take it easy. Easy like Sunday morn. <laughs> that's your initial. That's where it started. All right. That's your initial weird gay moment of the night with our boss, Craig Swab, when you told him to take it easy like a Sunday morn. I couldn't believe it myself. All right. Bye bye. Thank you. And that was about after four ounces of beer. Right. That was the first break that of the show. That's about the last thing I remember doing. I kind of remember that and then getting made fun of, and then nothing from there. Oh, wow. Albert Dukes, you crazy bastard. You also told us that you want to start using a different name on the air. Oh, yeah. So I guess we have to rename you tonight among us, the other business we had to take care of oh, on Friday. Speaking of which, did the new intern come back? <laughs> yes, he did. I can't believe he came Friday back. Friday Fright came back. He came back. Do you remember how mean you were to that kid? No, I don't. You were yelling at him, this poor kid, his first night in a radio station? All right, bring in Friday Fright. That's what you named him, Al. Name like that's going to stick. Oh, well, it will with me. I know. I mean, if we named, you know, if we named him Ace, there's no way you could not call him Friday Fright. Friday Fright, I can't believe you came back in here. I'm proud of you for that. God bless yeah, you. I love this place. But you had to think about it all weekend, didn't you, before you came back? A little bit. All right, his first uh, his first night ever in a radio station, right? Yeah. During college, is his internship. He comes in here, his new boss Al, who's going to show him the ropes, uh, drinks, calls him a coward <laughs> on the air before Fez and I even have the chance to name. I don't no. believe it. Name him Friday Fright. Screams, kisses a guy, breaks up the studio, kicks over a foosball. Uh, table and lays in a puddle of his own tears in the corner. Somebody's and, had a big night. And we're saying to him, well, we'll see you Monday, Friday. Right. He called me boring also. Yeah, he called you boring. Well, wow. everyone uh, got called that. Some yeah. people got called fat and boring. That's true. It was a memorable start. And I go, well, that's just radio, kids. You'll get yeah. used to it. Every night, something like this pops up. Poor Friday Fright. All right, well, you, uh, to me, you you already don't even deserve the name Friday Fright. Thank you. For yeah. showing back up. Now, did you talk to your family or anything about this? 
Not too much, a little bit. You told yeah. him what happened, though? I said it was a very exciting start <laughs> to a career. At this point, Al should apologize to everyone in Staten Island. Yeah. Yeah, what's the attack on Staten Island, too? Where'd that come from? I don't, I'll need a refresher. I don't remember and what And on I Brooklyn said. College? Yeah, you were Friday Fright went to Brooklyn College, but he's from Staten Island. And you ran both down. Yeah. I really don't even know anything about Staten Island or Brooklyn College. Well, you seem to know a lot yeah. Friday night, because apparently Brooklyn College, uh, there you can get a major in cowardice. If I'm quoting correctly. And you said it was nothing compared to King College. <laughs> right? That's true. You're right, Friday. Well, God bless you for coming back, Freddy Fright. Yeah, I'm enjoying myself. All right, buddy. Hopefully I'll be a little calmer tonight. You won't have I, to pick up furniture. Here's uh, Remember Al was talking about his drinking problems and worried about blacking out? GVAC writes under the instant feedback, Blackouts are the only reason I do drink. It's kind of like hitting hyperspace and asteroids. <laughs> that is true. Because you don't know where you're going to end up. You can land right on an asteroid. One time, and I think it, I'm, I'm trying to think of the situation. It was... I believe a New Year's Day. I kind of come to, I mean, yeah. like, just completely sober, right? And had been out for over a day or so. It's, and I believe, brand new year has started. It's, the lights are, you know, I mean, the sun is out, as bright as, you know, daytime can be. I am driving on the sidewalk. Oh! At a pretty good clip. Oh! With a girl screaming next to me. <laughs> You'll kill us both. Oh. And I literally went, what? What's going on? And I pulled into the street. What happened? And I never wow. even got a chance to sleep it off and get into, uh, you know, what you did last night. I was literally part of it. But, you know, unlike you, Al, there was more than just drinking involved. Mm -hmm. More than just beer. Not that I'm judging you. Here's Gina. Gina, you're on Run of Fuzz. Hey, Gina? Yeah. Oh, it's Gina from Hoboken. Hi, guys. Oh, hey, baby. How are you? Good. How you doing? I'm um, glad you came in Friday, but I'm sorry you came in Friday night. Yeah, me too. Yeah. yeah. What's up with Al? He needs to uh, settle down on the drinking. Were you hurting any of the fray, Gina from um, Hoboken? Well, he called us, uh, me, Melissa, and Lisa, he called us whores. Lisa in particular. Yeah. Who we poor. love. Yeah. And he was really he was saying really mean things about Billy Staples. What was he saying? How he about eats Billy? like bacon, egg and cheeses for breakfast. Yeah. And all this horrible stuff that he eats. Right. Yeah. He wasn't very nice. I boy. I can't stand a mean drunk. No way. He was no fun. We were supposed to do all that, that fun stuff and I know, Gina from Hoboken, it was supposed to be your night with uh <laughs> sweet Melissa and Lisa. Yep. And you guys just kind of got shoved into the background of the show. That's okay. I still had fun. I got to dump beer on Al. So it was oh, okay. yeah. I forgot about right. that. When the girls dump beer on you, you remember that at all, Al? No, I don't. Who ended up cleaning up that mess? It still stinks in here. Yeah, I know. Because I didn't do a good job. You know who was so nice to you, Al, and you treated her kind of like garbage, was that sweet uh, Melissa. Yeah, she's very nice. She was. Did you call your... her and thank her over the weekend? I did not. You should have. Because she was like a nursemaid. Yeah, she was. She was like the nurse from Farewell to Arms. Like there was nothing in it for herself. Right. She was changing your bedpan. You were bleeding on her. She didn't care. Uh, well, yeah, I should call her and thank her. I did not, though. And I know she was very... Uh, people told me she was very nice to me. You know what I thought was one of the amazing physical transformations? Was you drank enough beer to get all gassy. And you're, you're a thin guy, Al. You had, like, this Ethiopian pooch that was yeah. amazing to me. That you knew was just one big beer bubble. Yeah, it was real it. hard, like when... Uh, it was like, you know, it was just all gas. Like when Alfalfa had gas that time and they had to put pillows on them. <laughs> that was amazing to me. Uh, we're going to take a break and come back and try to fix some of this. Then can we start our show, Al? Yes, we can. 877-692-1027. Ranifest. Frequency, frequency. 1027 WNEW. Jay, you're on the uh, Ron and Fez show. Hi, Jay. Hey, what's up, guys? What can we do for you, buddy? Um, I might be able to help him because I have a foosball table and it's broken down a lot and uh, I've always fixed it. So do I'll you do kick my yours best. over a lot, Jay? 
<laughs> I don't know how the hell he did that. I mean, I definitely huge. Th- yeah, so is this one. I definitely think it needs a tune-up. Right. Yeah, do you do this for a living, Jay, or just No, he doesn't. He has his own table. Yeah, just for fun. I, what exactly is broken on this thing? It appears that there's a crack in the playing surface on so the side. So you need a new surface, and also the, the things feel a little loose. The, the men in themselves, they rattle around when you turn it? Yeah, they rattle. The um, just the whole thing just it's, feels like it needs a tighten up. Yeah, we need the like whole... Like Archie Bell and the drills. Yeah, we need the whole lube, oil, and filter on this thing. Okay, well, if he wants, I'll, I'll give him my email address, and then he could just send yeah, me, like, okay. what kind of table it is and everything. I'll do my best. Well, uh, it's, it's a regulation 55, whatever that thing is. Okay, hold on. And it looks like it's going to need a new plane surface. Right, okay, that'll on. be the hardest part. Yeah. Well, no. Remember what Tom Petty said the hardest part was. Oh, that's right. The waiting. The waiting was the hardest part. That's true. Hey, uh, Mike. Mike, you're on, uh, whoops. Mike, you're on Ronnie Fest. How you doing, buddy? Hi, Mike. Yo, 9791, new card holder. Right. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, hey, Al Dukes is a phony, man. He had Gina on there just before, right? Yeah. I didn't hear him apologize to her. You never apologized to any of us. I know. And what about, who's the one he hit in the mouth with the microphone? Oh, that was Melissa. Oh, man, I forgot about that myself. That made that sound on the, like a... Stealing teeth, that is the worst sound you can hear. What did he say? I was protecting the show? Yeah, he yeah. said he was protecting the show. And ran and the so microphone more. right into her jaw. You heard the teeth hit the thing. Then, Ronnie, I know no one can see this, but she staggered right. back and then went back over to where she was sitting and actually put her face in her hands down on the desk. And then she helped him out. Yes, yeah, yeah. then spend the rest of the night trying to be nice to him. And then she played Florence Nightingale to him. All right, guys. All right, see you. All right. All right. 1027 WNEW, New York. Hey, uh, let's talk about a foosball table, Anthony. Son of a bitch. Yeah. We've had this problem here. Can we talk to Ron and Fez? Are they in For the a while. yet? I don't know if they're in yet. I hope they are. That douchebag uh, producer they got, or whatever the hell he is. I don't even want to call him a producer. Yes. I don't even know what that is. He's like a glorified intern. Yes. Al Dix. Al Dukes. Al Dix. Uh, we have our foosball table here. You were not. You were nice enough to bring it in from home, Anthony. Uh, you know, it, it, I just wanted to bring in a foosball table. I know a lot of people around here like foosball, and it's great during some of the commercials or whatnot. We go out and we play some foosball, and it's great. Great way to wind down. Uh Al Dukes, for some reason, got all pissed off on Ron and Fez's show one night and kicked the foosball table over. I think he got pissed because uh, a guy kissed him and he kind of liked it. And he kind of liked it and, and he was enjoyed mad at it. The big flaming fag that he is. And uh, he kicked the table over, uh, breaking it. The, t- the whole thing's not level. It's cracked. Uh, it, 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 the, the surface, which is supposed to be completely level, surface like a wok now on that thing. But surface like Afghanistan after we bomb them. Right. You can only dream. Without the scattered monkey parts. Right. <laughs> Dare to dream, right? Makes so, the game more challenging, though, Norm. So for it, some reason... shoot around them. <laughs> for some reason, uh, Al Dukes <laughs> has had this problem now to toil over for... I don't even know how long it's been now. It's been quite a while, a couple of weeks. Uh... Do I fix the foosball table that uh, they have already, or do I get a new one? The guy, he's, he's brain dead. So uh, I guess he decided to have someone fix it. I don't know what the person did. Nothing. Because I came in that night. Uh, he said someone come up to fix it. Nothing was done. It still was broken. Uh, so then, for some reason, I come in today. The foosball table on its side <laughs> in the main entrance to where we come into this building. Well, that's because, Anthony, there, there was a new foosball table in place. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the new foosball table also in the lobby area on its side. So I, I hear, hey, uh, Earl comes back into the office. He goes, hey, did you see the new foosball table? I'm like, oh, new foosball table. Let's go let check me, it out. Let me check this out. Anthony wa- was so excited. It was like Christmas morning. Right. He sprinted down the hallway. I look at the old, I see the old foosball table up on its side on this wheels, on wheels. Like they just rolled it out like an old vending machine. You, you did that like uh, Fred Flintstone thing. You were running, but your feet were barely on the ground. And you heard like the, right. the drums. Yeah, I was running. And, and smoke. Smoke. Actually, smoke. And uh, 
I see the foosball table there, so I'm like, all right, let me see the new one. <laughs> I walk up. I don't even have to get around to see the front. I see these big box-like legs <laughs> that have no leveling capability. That's the first impression I get. <laughs> then I go around to the top. Now, get this, everybody, if you, you know anything about foosball. Here's how it works. Uh, for every side, there's one goalie in front of the goal. Then in front of that, there's two guys. That's your back. Then uh, one of uh, the op opponents, three men front. Mm -hmm. Then there's the five man, five man at of the each center. side. That's at the center. The center of the and then table. the same thing on the other side, the three man front. The, the key, two, the one. one goalie. One goalie. <laughs> and, and if it goes to the corner of the table, what happens? Whoa. It's tipped up. It's angled up a little so the ball will roll back down. Easily gotten by the single goalie. The single goalie. I look at this table. What? There's a, the back rod that has the goalie on it. Three goalies. Three goalies. It's retard foosball. It's retard foosball. It's it's like a baseball team with two extra players on one side because you're retarded, like like Al Dix. You're a retard. So I, I look at this. I go unacceptable. And who? Wait. Three decided. Three goalies. No tilt up in the corner. No tilt up in the corner. And, uh, and cheap, unleveling legs. Thick legs. And no bearings. On, oh, here's another thing. Plastic bushings that the rods slide in, uh, if you could call it sliding, uh, as opposed to the table I brought in, bearings. Ball bearings hold those things. So nice slide, nice action. And, and, and I'm, I'm thinking, who the hell decided to drag our table out of there without even letting us first see the replacement table? So, so I am livid pissed, and we are joined now by Ron and Fez, Can, who have to actually pay money to this useless uh, uh, gentleman, Al Duke. And can How'd I, you like the new table? <laughs> oh. <laughs> can, I, can I jump in before Ron and Fez start? Yeah. I, I want to make it perfectly clear. We have absolutely no problems with I love Ron, Ron and, Fez. and Fez. That's my entertainment the on the way home. Love the guy. It's my entertainment on the way home. Thank I love... You. The Ron and Fez show, very well, funny. They're on after us in New York. And, Absolutely. And we listen every single night on the way home. And the only too. thing I could say be that could make the show better is getting rid of that useless piece of crap, Al Dukes. All right. I'll, I'll put it this way. Yeah. We never hired the guy. Mm -hmm. He Everything that we've ever been given always comes from Jeremy. No one ever lets us bring in our own people. Oh, he's one of Jeremy's. Number two. Mm -hmm. Right. I used to eat asset like Tic Tacs and never thought it was a good idea to break somebody else's property. Right. The guy had a few beers. Especially fun property. Right. Like, it's it's your fun property. That's, I don't care if he wants to break a toaster oven or right. something. We were all enjoying the foosball table. All immensely. enjoying the foosball table. Immensely. What, what annoys me is someone mm -hmm. thinks that terrorist attacks excuse their <laughs> previous <laughs> right. responsibilities. Right. right. Like the slate got wiped clean. You know what? If Al Dukes was down there with a helmet on, uh, digging through rubble and helping out, God bless him, I'd put aside the foosball table thing. Believe me, right. I would. But he's. this happens in New York. Everyone's devastated. It doesn't affect his job right. and his responsibilities. So you don't like the foos t-ball table that he brought in. That for thing you. was... The extra goalies. Right extra now, the goalie Special people. Olympics are missing their foosball table. Ron, let's just put it this way. The game came with hockey helmets for all of us. <laughs> hockey helmets for the bus ride to play. That's right. The okay. short little bus ride. We don't ride. want anybody hurt. <laughs> it's like, you know How something? do you buy a foosball table that you can't even level? We can only dream that it'll bring in tomorrow a uh, Barbie pinball machine from Toys R Us. Oh, Anthony. With the little plastic legs. Someone is challenging you. Uh, Mike says three man back is actually professional foosball. All right, Mike. Guys, what's going oh, on? All right. Listen, I'm not defending Al Dukes in oh, any right. way. Explain uh, to me the three man uh, goalie. Three man back, it's a tornado table, uh -huh. which I don't know if it is, but tornado uh -huh. makes the uh, professional table. Professional table, yeah. The professional table. Okay. It's not the bar table. The bar table is, you that, know. We want bar table. <laughs> Thank you. I didn't I didn't start my <laughs> career in professional <laughs> foosball. I started it in, in a bar. Foosball table. It's tornado if it's tornado table, it's I don't care about world. tournament. I don't know. No. Piece of crap, unleveled legs. You can't level the legs. How do you tell me, Mike? Is it a tornado? I don't know. It it should be pulled away in a tornado and thrown in a cow field. That's I, all I, I like know I about said, that I don't in a tornado. Want to defend them, but it is the pro table. The legs it's can't be leveled. Piece of crap. We play bar table foos. Bar table. All right, I agree. So do I, but I'm just letting you know. All right. So now here is my proposition. Or not even proposition. Yeah. My, if I may call Demands? them, 
demands okay. that I am making. Sure. Now, I am not making them on you guys. Uh, you are simply a liaison right, okay. between this program. Ask, ask them to fire them. Uh, no, 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 because you fire I, I lose. I lose. No. Here's what he has no, to we do. we win. He, he <laughs> must. And, and here is, I'm not, I'm not being like uh, George Bush, not telling anybody right. when and where or anything. What, what is this? It is um, 26th. Okay, I will give him till next week. He has one week. Oh, till next. You're a softie. No. Too much? Hey, hey, no, no, because you know something? There's plenty of time for him to work whatever resources he needs to work. There's a weekend in there mm. to help out, whatever he needs there. One week to secure and have uh, submitted for my approval. Not installed. Submitted for my approval. Submitted, submitted for my, my approval, people. Be down. A foosball table of equal or greater quality okay. than the one we started with. That is it. I want good foosball. Now, he said if you turn this one upside down, you can uh, play skittle pool. <laughs> which and air hockey. is fun. That air hockey is not working. No, no, air, no air comes up. Skittle no air comes up. What, what about skittle bowl? Skittle bowl. Skittle bowl um, with the bowl, with bowl the on the pins. string. Yeah. And you would uh, throw it through the pins. But you couldn't throw it too hard. You're just yanking the pins down nice. anyway. Did you bother to turn it over? <laughs> right. Turn it over and try it. If you take all the rods out, it makes a perfect yeah. table to put a rock them sock them robot set on too right. which is good right I, I might i might go for that that's my demands i got one a, week I, I you know i would fire him tonight yeah but i don't know if i can get it past jeremy jeremy brought the guy in mm -hmm. and it's like having a narc on our show yeah and every time we ask for something i get that no we can't oh my i go God. get me a, i can't make long distance calls it's uh <laughs> oh my like, what? God. What? They re the company really frowns upon right. that. Right. I was I got such enjoyment uh, the other uh, night uh, uh, when a girl called up, yeah. wanted to be an intern. You said, "Do you go to college?" She said, "Yes." You go, okay. You got the job. You're in. A and then you turned around to Al Dukes and went, "You have been trying to get an intern for the show for th months, right? And you have failed." We also it's have sh you show on the show every night right. his complete and utter. Incompetence. They gave us how many guys we have working with us? Not one can do production. Yeah. Not one. And I go, I, I don't understand this. This is New York. They're producers. <laughs> you know. That can't. So what are do they do? Uh, they're uh, telling us great show. <laughs> yeah. You guys rock. There I you don't go. want your opinion. They're there to kiss your right. ass. Right. One nice. of them came to me last night and said, Feds, what is this? I said, That's a CD. <laughs> that is a oh. CD. Oh. <laughs> We're gonna have to start at the basics. Yeah, but you know, to train them. Opie, I consider this your responsibility. It's your station. You are the assistant <laughs> no, 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 program no. director. Hire people. You're the assistant program I, director. I am the assistant Hire program good people. Director. How hard would it be? I yeah. saw because I can't get your producer fired. I tried. I'll I'll be. Honest you know something? I, I I'll be honest, and and I, I I hope he hears this right now. I can get him fired. I can. I absolutely can get him fired. Don't <laughs> test me. Is that what happens in one week? Because I'll go to Jeremy and I will get him fired. Right. One week. I'm I would not love to say. Oh, I won't tell the consequences. I, I give him the timeline. I give him uh, uh, when he, there will be consequences, and I give what I want in that week. Uh, but let me tell you, I can get him fired. Now the guy wants to defend uh, the situation. The three Jay. man back. They're Jay. defending they the, love three, the man three man back. back. Jay, my first time on the Afro show. Love you both, but I, I don't get me wrong. Dukes is a douche, all right. But man, the three man back. That's the way the tournaments are run everywhere you go. No, you know, no, we, no, look, we look, look. bar tournaments, too. Bar. No? Bars. No, no. I have worked with a three-man back for years, That's but I never right. played baseball. Well, you went to jail for it, too, didn't you? You went yeah. to jail for it. Yeah. yeah. A little different. In Bama, yes. Yeah. Have you given it a shot? Is it a tornado table? It is indeed a tornado table. Oh, man. But, Tell them you can give it to me. No. I don't care. Trade it in. What are you I saying? want a Ninth bar table. Ninth caller? Ninth caller. <laughs> <laughs> but I win. <laughs> I, I, I don't want I don't want the tournament table. I don't care if it's uh, diamond studded and gold plated. What I don't time care. did you have before? Like it was one guy back. That's it. Yeah, we did. One guy in the goal back, and then like, you have the two man in front of him. It's, that's your defense. It's bar foosball. Was it the circuits? Uh, and I don't care how good it is. You know something? A foosball table to me isn't that good when there's plastic bushings holding the rods in without bearings in it. So don't even try. It sucks. Oh, man, I'll take it. No, you won't. 
Because hey, he will the... be using that to bargain to get a good table. And what I don't the... care what he needs. What are the consequences? A lot of people want to know. You're giving him a week. I'm giving him... I, I, I didn't give any consequences. All I said was I, I said that I, I'm sure I could talk to Jeremy and have him removed. All I'm not I... saying that is the consequence, but I can do it. The night that he broke it, I guess he was kicking it and pushing it mm -hmm. over... Someone told me he was yelling Dago, Dago, and stuff. Dago, like, yeah. Guinea Womp. Yeah, I heard yeah. all that yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. And I don't know where it came from. Nah, it's sad. <laughs> where yeah. that, that anger came yeah, from? Yeah, I don't know where it came from. You know what else is broken on that that we never even griped about, but it's an important part of the uh, table? The little flip-down drink holders. <laughs> yeah, I noticed <laughs> that. There were I four. There, when I brought that in, there were four operational flip down drink holders you flip the bottom down and flip up a little thing that holds the top of the holds bottle the or sam can. adams nice. so now the sam adams you pop it in there you play a little you drink a right. little right now one of them actually works the rest all snapped off and broken from his uh turning the table over and you don't get those with the tornado brand no 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 it's, no. it's tournament it's tournament there's no tournament. drinking at the tournament right. Ooh, perish the thought the tournament you're drinking I play foosball, grew up playing foosball in bars, just like everyone else did. Sure. No one no one got on that table and said, Hey, where are the other two goalies? <laughs> did one person say that? No. No. I remember what we said. We said, This is great. We were all excited. Yeah. It was like the orphanage got a toy finally. Exactly. And some ass wrecked it. Al Dukes ruined it. Well, he's got one week. I, just, I think he's going to call your bluff, though. I think you better be ready because oh, he's a hey, cheap hey. man. I'll he's a cheap man. I will start the the uh, the wheels turning. Yeah. As per the uh, consequences that I have. In and I know life. he didn't go out and buy this thing. I know it's some oh, kind no. of trade out right. that he expects yeah. to be doing on our show. And right. why not? You know, it's it's a, a replacement of property from our show. Wouldn't you have us approve it first? Sure. And say, look, is this like what you're looking for? I, I'm just imagining now. 20 foosball tables in the lobby area. Anthony. Uh, before the, right, he, right. he gets one that we want. I was I was there when they dropped it off. It was three guys. They yeah. dropped it and ran. Right. Really? Sure. Look where it was. Like thieves in the night. I know. No, yeah. no joke. It was it, it was barely in the door. I know. <laughs> it was, yeah, it was. Everybody's blocking people. Everybody's dropped off a high school girl like that. Just <laughs> right. ran in the front yard, hit the gas Drive as hard away. as they could. Hey, she got home. Hey, I don't know. I dropped her off. <laughs> That's how they dropped the it's foosball table off. It's embarrassing us, Fuzz. It's horrible. And I know, like Ronnie, you said, he's got some sort of plug that we'll have to right. be on the lookout for tonight when he tries to slip See? that in right. yeah. for Fred's cheap arcade. Sure. <laughs> oh, we want to thank Hitler's Amusements for bringing yeah. in a tournament-style foosball game. You know, three men. Three men in the back right. there. That's great. Hey, hey. All right. We got to take a break. All right. Well, there it is, uh, gentlemen. If you All right, could I'll please take it back. Like deliver, Pakistan, we'll take it back. Deliver my demands. <laughs> yeah. You know, I feel like the uh, Pakistan uh, yeah. military. Because I shan't yeah. talk to him. This yeah. is all done through diplomatic channels. Yeah, and, you're, uh, you're not the Taliban. You could deliver my demands. <laughs> sure. You and got, we'll see. Uh, that's you know, the nicest thing that's ever been said. You're not the Taliban. I know you got the weird beards and stuff, but you're not right. the Taliban. I guess we'll be bringing back broken foosball tables behind us, <laughs> dragging them behind <laughs> horses. Here's his answer! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, got to say it again. We love Ron and Fez. They're on after us here in New York. If you haven't checked them out, you're absolutely insane. Ron and Fez. Because you and I had uh, a lot of things to talk about tonight. Uh, some uh, comedy pieces. Yes. Some open phones discussion. Mm -hmm. We're going to take all this. Just, oh, no. It's ripped up because... That's the paper I wrote open phone discussions on. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that's, Damn it. That's your show prep. <laughs> Give out the phone number and see who calls. Today, at approximately, I'll say... Uh, 6.15. Mm-hmm. My most embarrassing moments in radio started. Being called in to the ONA show. The big show, Fezzi. Oh, yeah. Summoned. The show that uh, is in uh, Playboy and Rolling Stone. The show that is now syndicated in markets all over the country. And Fez and I are uh, called into there not to not to hear, oh, Ron and Fez, you guys did a bit we really liked, or we'd like you to sit around and do some comedy with us sure. and be a guest on the show, but to be delivered an ultimatum because our producer 
is an embarrassment to us. To be forced to become a liaison. Right. Between Anthony from Opie and Anthony and our producer, the fabulous Al Dukes, because, sweet Lord, a foosball table still hasn't been repaired or replaced, Al. Now, I know this situation took place at least, Fez, a week, maybe two weeks before the tragedy. I think it was actually the Friday before the tragedy. Okay, so that's a full week. Yeah. Plus days. Mm Mm-hmm. Al Dukes today brings in some kind of foreign foosball table. I think made in Afghanistan. I haven't looked at the bottom. It better of not. It. If I find out it's a terrorist foosball table, I'm gonna go insane, Fuzz. If it's any kind of uh, Muslims' favorite foosball, we got a problem. Al, I'm gonna call you over and I'll just say this: Jeremy hired you. Jeremy can fire you, but it won't stop me from knocking you out. And right now, I'm going to ask that you stay over there because I'm embarrassed for the show. The fact that we have to go on the air and deal with this when we didn't have anything to do with it. What happened was the Friday before the attacks, Al Dukes got drunk in here. He had to be physically removed from the show. In his fit of rage, he kicked over Anthony's foosball table and broke it. Out of all the things to break in this place, Fezzy. I know. There's a crappy lesbian couch out right. there that's ready to walk away on the own, uh, its own bacteria. You and couldn't about, have done anything to that? How about running through the sports guy's office tearing up things? We could deal with that problem. Sure. I don't even remember doing that in the first place. There's witnesses. Al... You know you broke it. Do you th- do you believe that you broke it? Yes, enough people have told me. Right. Mm-hmm. Now, I actually didn't even see you break it. I was on the air. I know that's insane to you that Fez and I stay on the air instead of drinking and kicking uh, over uh, people's property. So, Al, let us fulfill our obligation. We are delivering now the message from Anthony. You have one week from today... To replace that foosball table with an acceptable brand, acceptable foosball table. Well, this one that was that got re- it got replaced with is, from what I'm told, a very good from foosball. Afghani Sports. Uh, let me by by you were told this is a good foosball table. Yes. Did you tell? Uh, were you told this by the person whose foosball table you broke? No. Wouldn't it be up to that person? I. Uh, yeah. I mean, when I when I talked to the guy who has these foosball tables, he told me this is like one of the top ones. So I just thought that would be, you know, an acceptable one to replace it with. And it's not. You understand that, right? Um. Yeah, I mean, I know he's not happy with it. Right. It's different from Anthony's. It's completely different. It's not set up the same. It's, it's not the same game. Well, this and more important, it's not to his satisfaction. Would you do this? Would you give him a table to his satisfaction? Yeah, I mean, I'll sit down and talk to him and see what he He doesn't want to talk to you. He wants a table like the table that you broke. I'm not even sure that they make them like that anymore. Don't tell me that you broke a classic table. A collector's item? You smashed and pushed over and kicked? A collector's item? I don't know if it's a collector's item, but I I just don't think they make that brand anymore. Based on what? All the foosball knowledge that you possess? Uh, well, when I was asking people and that I wanted to repair it in the first place, they didn't they weren't aware of that brand. So, did you hear I, what Anthony said on the ONA show? That if you don't get one in one week from today that he finds acceptable, there's going to be consequences for you. Yeah. Yes. Do you believe that? You'll be gone. Oh, I don't think he can fire me. I'll tell you this. I am willing to bet that you will be fired. But I'll say this before that happens. I'll personally beat you up. I will sit on your chest and keep punching until Fez is screaming in my ear, enough, enough, and pulls me off of you. 
I'll be and screaming then I'll in your run. ear. Here come the cops. Let's get out of here. Then, as I catch my breath because I'm so exhausted from punching you so long, I'll think, what am I doing? He's uh, down. I'll start kicking. Mm-hmm. And I'll hold your ankles. Hawk, I mean, oh, that's for a different thing. Hawk, go, go out and get me steel tip boots. Nice. And then put a razor in each one. Uh, Just get the damn table, Al. It's and been put going, this nightmare behind us. It's been going on so long. It's almost a month. Yeah, but the reason why it's taken so long is the first I was going to have it repaired. And then uh, Anthony said that it wasn't fixed, even though they, I was told it was leveled out. So then I just had it replaced, and now this one isn't the right Are one. Are you acting like you're a victim to this? You're acting like you're a victim. No, not a victim, but I am it's doing... It's a hassle? It's a, it's a problem for you? No, but I am doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I was I was trying to get it... Wait prepared. a minute. Is Anthony happy? No, he's then not. Then how could you be doing what you're supposed to be doing after three weeks? Well, both times that I tried to fix the problem, I thought that it was... It was done and over with, and then it's not. I mean, the table that I got is a really good table. That replacement? Yeah. The one that I got put in here today. Is it the one that he wants? I'm not even sure exactly what one he wants, but that... He wants his. Why don't you... There's got to be a serial number on that or something, Al. Now, here's a question. He doesn't like the one that you got. But he, he hasn't even tried that one yet. He's not going to try <laughs> something with three goalies. He doesn't want it. But the, I heard the guy on the phone even saying that uh, three goalies is the professional table. It's he ex- Look around here. Are we playing professional <laughs> rules? He wants the one that he played on. And he explained the difference on the ONA show between professional table and bar table. I don't know where these professional leagues are at anyway, but I've never seen that table before. Right, and I hope New York gets a franchise in the professional foosball league. It's going to suck if they do. <laughs> no one's going to watch professional foosball. I think that's Vince McMahon's next step. So, oh, Ronnie. Oh, Ronnie. Uh, all right. Anthony's all right, here. here. Anthony's here for uh, the uh, O&A uh, show uh, from Opie and Anthony. Thanks uh, for coming in. Okay, I... uh I was hoping to have you guys as the liaison. Right. And I think uh, we fulfilled our obligation. Yeah, you absolutely we have. passed the message. You absolutely have. I, I was sitting in the uh, office. But when I find myself yelling at the ceiling <laughs> where the speaker is, right. uh, then I figure I, I just come down. Uh, I didn't try the foosball table that uh, you, you had gotten. You're, you're right. Why am I going to try something that it doesn't even look like the one I have? But the, I think maybe the one you have is older, and the ones that they make today are completely flat. I don't care about the new fangled ones they have today. <laughs> the new fangled ones. It's like replacing this car and going, oh, now you don't have to shift. Yeah. This is automatic. Maybe I enjoyed it. See, the, the problem is, you're stupid. Did, did, did you go on websites? I talked did you to... Put, wait, no, no. Did you go to Yahoo and put foosball tables in the search engine hit hit a uh, search and then see the tables that come up and familiarize yourself with some of the uh, brands of a foosball table a little Did research a little research thank you Fess. No, a Ryan. little research which would mean that you cared you would care whether you, thank you Ron. Ron. did you do that at I, all no i did not no do you no. you didn't do that why should i figure you would well, have done that now that that would have let you know uh that those tables are still available it's a, a bar table, and uh, they make them still. Yeah, they make them still. There's but still bars, tells aren't me, there? Right. Something tells me what you did was uh, you, you, you took the call from the first guy that said he had one and said, okay, bring it down. Because you don't really sure. care, which is fine, you know. Why should you care? Doesn't matter. No, I do care. Oh, stop it. You but do now. I, when I went to Yahoo, I went to look for shops to repair originally the first one. And that was when I was calling those people, they said they didn't know that brand of the other table. Right. And that generally they don't repair them. You know what I like so far? You lost the bass in your voice and your eyes have watered up a little bit since Ann came in. It's getting a little... <laughs> you lost a little cock out of the walk, which makes me feel a little better about it. And if you really cared, it would not be 
foosball crisis day 19. <laughs> it's unbelievable. unbelievable. It's 19 days since he broke how it. long this is going on. But it, I didn't realize it was broken until I came in on the Monday. You didn't realize when you flipped it over that it was broken? I didn't realize I flipped it over. You know, all the little drink holders on the side are snapped off? And that was the best feature. It, it was, was such great. a good feature. And, you know, Ant didn't bring that table here and go, hey, everybody, I brought my table and make sure you guys don't play on it. No. He left it open for everybody. I wasn't going to be what they call, uh, what's the word, a dick. Right. I wasn't going to be a dick about it and uh, say, oh, don't play this. It's out there. Everyone's uh, enjoying it, having some fun until uh, Al Dukes tips it over and then spends, yeah, I, I think they replaced the space shuttle. Uh, they did. They were up quicker. Uh -huh. They were they up quicker. Up quicker. With the rings. Then this is taking. Well, then I realized Monday it was broken, and then Tuesday was uh, the World Trade Center thing. Uh, mm -hmm. So you were busy uh, meeting with Giuliani about an emergency plan. So uh, that took some time no, away. No, it was mm -hmm. a full week before the. Uh, yeah, it was. Uh, it was a full week before the World Trade Center. So all I'm asking. Wasn't here it? it is. Here it is. I thought it was the weekend before. Get a table that resembles the table we had. Not a cheap one, and it doesn't have to be the gold-encrusted bestest one. It just has to be one that we're familiar with, comfortable playing on, one like the one we had. That's all. But this... It's easy. Okay. The, the one I had is not a cheap one. It's like $900. I understand. Mm -hmm. I don't care. That it's more say, expensive. Yeah. Let me just, for myself, you're saying $900, like you paid $900 for it. Did you pay no. anything out of your no, ATM I, card? No, I didn't pay, but I'm saying it's it, the I quality know, of then it. Then why would that man give it to you? That I would probably mention him on the show. On what show? Uh, this one. You get no mentions <laughs> on this show. And let me Not tell you one something. Mention. You know, you throw the 900 buck thing around. Ooh, that's, that's tough. Right. Uh, uh, I paid $900 for, for the table that I had. So it's the equal price thing. No mention. Right All right, so that's done. So that was, you know, the, I, I paid for that table that you flipped over without even thinking that someone had to have purchased that table. You know, you really didn't think. Yeah, the one you broke wasn't free. I, yeah. and now, by the, the way, I got, a, I got enough people writing in to me, too, that that was a full week before the World Trade Center. Training. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Full week. Yeah. So what happened in that week? I was trying to find places that might be able to fix it. For free. All right, so I'm going to add seven days to the... Uh, How many it's days? It's day 26, <laughs> day, 26. Day, day 26. Day 26. Foosball crisis, day 26. This will never be resolved. If this was a baby, we wouldn't be able to abort it anymore. That's right. how far we've come along. We're in the third trimester. <laughs> We're in the... Th <laughs> <laughs> the first... When I first got it fixed, I thought... You, who, the, wait a minute, you got first it fixed? got it fixed. Yeah, I heard this rumor that people had come up to fix it. Well, the last time I uh, spoke to you, you said that it really just needed to be leveled out. Yeah. And I know I can't do that, so I called in a guy from uh, one of these places that fixes them, and mm -hmm. then he said that it, it was all leveled. That he, you know, fixed that he, didn't, he didn't do anything. You know, I heard a leveler. Leveler. No, I he, already put a level on it. Here's what I heard: that uh, some guy took something and wedged it. Underneath the playing surface by the goal. A like CD, not even fixing, I heard. Yeah, like a CD or something, using a shim. Right. Using a shim in one of the goals to try to lift the actual surface up instead of taking a wrench and turning the uh, the base of the legs to, to level it out. I'm I, I not sure exactly Anything how he comment? did it. Anything comment? You're not sure. Someone had told me that he had... Who's someone? Yeah, who's you weren't someone? even here for it? Who's someone you weren't that here told when you? the uh, foosball table came in here today to go, oh my God, this is a different kind. Please take this out. No, both times they came early in the morning. Like Why wouldn't you be here eight o'clock? if it was your responsibility? Well, because I, I knew the guy would that it would get taken care of. Did it? No. Everybody's happy then. And wouldn't this make sense? Uh, you talk to the guy, he goes, hey, I got a foosball table. Okay, uh, what's the make and model of it? And then you pop it up on the uh, Internet, you print it out, you come to us and go, hey, uh, is this table a good replacement for the one you got? And we can look at it and uh, go, no. And then, you know, your quest continues. I mean, you just assumed and he brings it down that hey, it's a foosball table. Yeah, the, the replacement you brought doesn't have the legs that can be adjusted unless you add another cereal box because that's what those legs right. look like. And, and, uh, and the uh, rods, the holes that the rods go in there... Uh, no bearings. No bearings. Plastic bushings. Crap. 
three man goalie. I don't, I don't play three man goalie like that. It's the kind of foosball they play on the planet Vulcan. You right. know what I mean? It's Vulcan, like you would yeah. start thinking it looks like foosball. Yeah. Like it looks like it should be foosball, mm -hmm. but then they've taken this thing to a whole mm -hmm. new sci-fi level. It's the Kobayashi Maru of foosball, yeah. right. three-man goal. There's no no-win situation. I don't know what happens. That le the guy on the inside gets the go <laughs> ball. He's the goalie. Dun, right. dun, 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 dun. I have no clue how to play in that situation. So what what's your plan of action what's next? now that an ultimatum has been thrown out you have a week till next Wednesday to just let's resolve this problem do, what's the plan about what's the first thing you're going to do to resolve this uh talk to you off the air and you see. just talk to no, him I'm talking want, now I'm done I'm done no, I'm done do, do, I wasn't even going to come in here but I was like I, like I said screaming at the speaker in the ceiling so I came in here here's what it is what what are you going to do my plan was that I would talk to you mm -hmm. just to see exactly what is different with this one. Okay, I want a foosball table with uh, 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 quality bearings on the rods. You're going to write uh, this down? One, one goalie. There you go. And not made like it's made out of, uh, as Fez so eloquently put it, a cereal box. Cereal box legs. We don't want yeah. cereal box <laughs> legs. Want the Get thing the nice, man what he wants. You broke level, his table. Professional. Nice. Nice. Did he ever apologize even once for this fest? No, I don't think there's no, been a no, public no, apology. No, no, no. And what happened to the tough no. guy uh, talk with? What are they going to do? I can't be fired by them. They didn't mm -hmm. hire me. Mm -hmm. What happened to that tough guy talk? Mm -hmm. I didn't mean it as tough guy talk. Tough guy talk. I was just saying that. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't think that was one of the consequences. Well, well, okay. Whatever. I didn't know. I wasn't trying to be a tough guy. No, I would just no, no, yeah, that's cool. Whatever, tough guy what, or not, whatever. What um, can't be a consequence. I have no problem with that. Yeah. That's fine. That's no, fine. I'm not saying. That I guess we'll all find out in a week. Yeah. I'm not going to sit there. We'll and, see who's uh, got the juice I'm, here. I'm not going to sit there and threaten that. You know, I'm not going to sit there like that. But it's, uh, silly. Am I able? If I have models or pictures of the ones, can I take them to you that to say this yeah. one or? No. There you God go. God now. Damn. Holy Now smoke. you're getting there. The hamster wheel in his head is spinning. <laughs> oh, the... Yeah, now that is a great idea. Where'd right. you get that idea? Oh, crap. I just said it uh, 10 seconds ago. Yes, if you print out the models of these things and run it past us, and we'll look at it. But the last, the reason why I didn't do it this time is the last time that I interacted with you guys was very angry. I wonder why. Here's something you could do, Al. What about a police sketch artist? <laughs> and then you sketch get a the table. Yeah, you get a sketch of the table and you take it around to different arcades and that sort of thing and say, Have you seen this table? <laughs> Just the people I talked to, I told them what brand the old table was and they said this one that I got was better. So I that's why I yeah, didn't even the think that I had people you <sighs> talk to. Make this table. The they people make this. you talk to. You know, if uh, I, I don't even know a retarded enough analogy to put to this that you might understand. Go to a Volkswagen dealer and ask him whether you should have a Volkswagen or a Jag and see what you'd go driving out of there with. Yeah. Call up Heinz and ask what their favorite ketchup <laughs> might be. You see? The dollar value of the tables were identical. And I don't even care about uh, a dollar value of these things. I just want a table that we are familiar with, that we have played on our whole lives and and uh, can enjoy. That's all. I don't care if it costs more than the one I got or less. doesn't matter to me. But I don't want to look at one and go, oh, now we got to learn how to play all over again because of Al Dukes. Sure. I'm just not... I don't, the thing with the like the three guys in the back, three even. Guys the the three-man back, right, yes. Yeah. Right. I mean, if... That can What's be, confusing you? What, what is? Yeah, well, I just yeah. know. I mean, can they be adjusted? That no. you? No. Put one guy in the. No, it can't be adjusted. Son of a bitch, when you look, the, no, listen, I'm just, uh, listen, listen to me. Listen to me. When the ball rolls to the back of one side of the table, right? You see our table. The the corners are tapered up, so when the ball goes up there, it can roll back down. If we take the other two men off of that three man goalie. The ball hit the corner, stay there, and you'll go up forever. Hey, look, mm -hmm. it ain't coming down, and there's no guy there to get it. Because we don't play with the three-man goalie. You understand now? Yeah. And and we don't like the three-man goalie. Because uh, we've never played with the three-man goalie. It's not our game.
Jesus Christ. It's like arena football. Some okay. people prefer hey, it. I don't know. know. Great analogy right there. Right. Thank you. But if you have somebody who's an NFL fan, they're going to say, that's not my game. That's not the game I want to play. Oh, but you'll get people that call up going, right. hey, arena football's Whoa, better, man. I don't know what's right. Smash hey. mouth. Yeah, there's more offense. I don't know it. I don't know it. I don't care. I don't care what's better, what's worse. I want what I'm used to. What's your next move, Al? That I'm going to research uh, the different tables. Mm -hmm. Print out uh, the diagrams of them. Some options on uh, different uh, tables, diagrams, pictures, good, whatnot. And then show you. Uh, when when can I expect to get the first few uh, diagrams or photos left in my mailbox? Uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow? Tomorrow or uh, Friday. Definitely oh, by now. Now it's no, tomorrow now. Gonna, or Friday. No, no, then no. why not just say by Friday? By Friday. You had to say tomorrow <laughs> or Friday. Friday. No, then Friday. that's by Friday. By Friday. Okay, so now we're talking by Friday. Definitely by Friday. Then I will look at them, and I, then I have to wait till Monday to get back That's to you. That's the, the beginning of his show on Friday. Right. Okay. So then I have, to, I have to check it out, but then i got to wait until, uh, what, uh, uh, Friday maybe night at the quickest to get back to you, which ones are acceptable. And then, because you can't do this uh, crap on the weekends, then you're going to have three days. To secure yeah. the appropriate table, you're cutting yourself. I would make sure quicker. tomorrow. Tomorrow, I set have your little diagrams. alarm clock and come in here early and work. There you go. You know, Kurt Angle has his three eyes. Yeah. You're gonna have your three R's. You're gonna research, mm -hmm. then reevaluate yeah. your options, then replace the foosball Very table. Very good. The three R's. Research. Make a checklist. Reevaluate. Replace. Mm -hmm. Also, Al, I see that they're right there. You want to squirt a couple out for us before no. we go on? No, you look like you're ready to go. So he's tearing up? I think, yeah. yeah. yeah I think if you up. squirt out a couple, you'll get rid of that tension. You know what would probably go very well? Uh, playing the tape of uh, what he thought of me uh, oh. when he was drunk. Before this whole thing happened. Oh, the first time that I was the nice guy. The guy yeah, right. uh, would have been nice right. to uh, hang out with. Friendly. Yeah. See how quickly that changed when yeah, you, screw, when you screw things up? What I had no problem with, with you. No, I had no problem. Uh, from the instant feedback, very important. Don't forget the drink holders. Right. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm even willing to no, don't forego be willing. the drink holders. Don't be willing. No. I, They're yours. I'd be willing to. That, that was your favorite part. part. That held your Sam, baby. It really did. Because you know, you know something? I'll tell you. If there's no drink holders, where people put their beers? They put it on, on top. Right. You do the then shot. It spills, ruins the table. Right. You need the drink holders on the outside. Okay, you're right. You gotta have drink this. holders. But why do this to Anthony's table? I know that you've always told us you didn't like Opie. Every time you get drunk, mm -hmm. you run Opie down. But you would praise Ant. Well, because when, I think that's the reason. Yeah. If I could step in here, Go I ahead. think that's the reason. He knows that if he did something to Opie's property, right. uh, Opie would really come down on him. I'm yes. just, you know, I'm the nice guy. Right. What's he gonna do? It's Anthony's mm -hmm. table. Screw. Well, mm -hmm. let me tell you, you pissed me off. I'm pissed. No, I do you believe him? No, I do believe him. And and the the that Monday that I realized it was broken, and I was coming in while their show was leaving. It was uh, Opie was very angry. Of course. Thank you. Look at that. Gets me my Sam. Yeah. How you liked here, Anthony? What can I tell you? You liked here, not by you know our producer. No. But then you don't have the power to fire him anyway. What are you going to no, do? You're nobody. You, you're somebody whose table should be broken. Mm -hmm. You know, you're right. I don't have the power to... I can't go up to him and say, leave, you're fine. Right. Uh, yeah. Whatever. We do have some of those clips. Uh, the first time, Al Dukes went on a drinking binge. Mm -hmm. Now, these things are just labeled as Anthony. Look how dated this right, is. Right, I know. Right? So I like this. everything since the tragedy. See? Uh, we had two tragedies. Two tragedies. Two tragedies. <laughs> There's three cuts here marked Anthony. Ah. So I'm not sure what they all apply to. All right. Anthony. Anthony I like because he mm. will talk to anyone, mm. interns, other producers. He's very friendly. He seems to be very happy with uh, being in radio. I like him a lot. Like you're lucky like to be in radio. Like him a lot. I'm yeah. going to break right. his stuff. And somehow like you're lucky to be in radio. Yeah, there you go. Right. Hey, he seems very, you know, ooh, he's yeah. very happy about that. Right. It seems yeah. like playing foosball is all he needs right. to be happy. And I'll wreck that for him. You son of a bitch. We'll check Jesus. out this cut from a drinking binge months ago. Who would you most like to go out and drink with, Al? 
would say that Anthony guy mm -hmm. from yeah. the Opie and Anthony show. Seems like a nice guy. He's worked more of the wow. blue collar type of job oh, for most of his life, mm -hmm. and seems happy that he's now in radio. Again, I'd like to go out drinking like a day. like a <laughs> lab. I'm like a lab with my earth, tongue hanging. Right. Out. Just throw like, the ball. Like Fred Flintstone's uncle died, and he suddenly has to just sleep right. in the house. Yeah. To get it. I'm like Ralph Cramden. Right. Me a bag of shells. <laughs> easy come, easy go. When I had it, I went with it. That's me. Here's one more cut. Al Dukes on Anthony. Al, this will be completely your opinion. But of the men at WNEW, oh, God. who do you think is the most hung? The most hung? Yeah. Who do you think has the biggest unit? I'm going to go with w Chuck w from the radio show. I'm going to go with the stereotype of the black guy. So I'm going to go with that one. Chuck from the radio show. All right. That's a give me. The radio chick show. So who would be number two then? Right behind Chuck. Number two. Uh, I'll go with Anthony. There you go. The man you want to drink me. with. Sure. He seems like a nice guy. A, a nice, nice guy, guy. Yeah. which so has nothing think, to do with right. the whole schlong thing. So because he's a nice guy, you sit around and think dreaming about his yeah, penis. Yeah, yeah. You make me sick. No, well, you I better mean, dream about this, that foosball table. This is so embarrassing for me. The only rod you better be dreaming about is the rods that will hold the men that go through the table and better have bearings in there. That's it. Are we straight now? We got this all figured out. We got a plan of action. By tomorrow, we have resolution. Proof. Yeah. So I don't go right to you, though. I just put it in the mailbox. Just put it in my mailbox. It's right over there. I will come in. I check that the second I get in. Okay. And I will make sure. I'll go through everything. I'll write some notes down on it. And I'll put yeah. it in your mailbox. Okay. And you can get right on it. Okay. We're straight. This yeah. is solved now. Yes. The important thing is go. to find the table immediately mm -hmm. so you have as many days as possible to get it To here. then get it. Because that seems to me the hardest part. The delivery. I start, yeah, I would start on that tonight. Al. Yeah. There you go. Start on it tonight. Yeah. Work through the night if you have to. A little OT. Okay. Burn in the midnight oil, they call that. I right, think. sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I'll squirt a couple out too before. I'm we, not squirting. Please. A little, uh... So close. Yeah. Great. I'm sorry this had to happen. Well, well, about I'm sorry apology. it came to this. Yeah. I, 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 I'm just feeling better that the wheels are in motion yeah, now. Yeah, right. I apologized that first day, but they... Uh, Who's they? Opie was sh uh, just uh, really shouting Opie's at me. Yeah, no, no, Opie's I was mm -hmm. apologizing. You want us to grab the stuff you said about Opie when you were drinking? No. Because hmm. he's <laughs> not going to forget. No, no. No, he was very angry that day, and I was just telling him I was going to fix... I was going to get it fixed. I am apologized for doing it. That I was drunk and I would get it fixed. See, I you, you're kind of right about uh, me and and Opie. What you were talking about. Uh, I am a guy. I'll I'll just be, after this yeah. is all through with my tables there. I don't care. It's not like I'm going to hang out and uh, enjoy your company or anything. Uh, but I just won't care. You'll be like a non-issue in my life, and I don't I don't care as long as I got my stuff. Opie, on the other hand, despises you. Despises you. Like I I, I it's it's almost too much for what you've done like I'm, I'm i can't understand why there is a hatred right that I mean, he has toward you when i did it i was drunk yeah. and i was blacked out i don't even remember doing blacked it. out that's okay that's, a, that's a convenient good yeah so, right so you stop on drinking, beer right blacked out on beer how yes, long would that normally take someone six to Blacked eight weeks out on of hard drinking i was drinking a lot quickly though i'll here. tell you this i bet you didn't drink uh, a six-pack before all this happened, how much did you have before you blacked out and destroyed property? I was drinking from seven till probably around ten. How three much? hours? Three, um, I don't think it was a six pack. Really? No, in, uh -uh. in three hours. Yeah. That's and right. I, no, had, we I know some. Uh, no we one else out with beer shots. No hour, one else in the contest, fun. including girls, got drunk. Never mind blacking out. And you were doing God knows what with that guy, and then beating up Anthony's food yeah. on the table. Just because of the, uh, your own uh, insecurities about your sexuality, you, you then take it out on uh, a foosball table. Did you hallucinate and think the little foosball guys were winking at you? Yeah. Coming on to you? Shaking their little foosball red and blue asses. Right. Something like that. <sighs> embarrassment. What an embarrassment. Yeah. Squirt them. That's tough. Squirt them. It's almost there. 
We're waiting for a trickle, like no, the pollution no Indian. You know what? Uh, maybe you should do when the whole thing's over is getting the uh, 55 gallon drum. Maybe that's a uh, way of might saying. Be appropriate. Would least, that be one way of maybe that's your way of uh, apologizing, to Opie? Getting the drum. No, I have a, I have apologized. I will apologize again. No, it's not working. No, he won't even think about it. You you could say I'm sorry. It would sound like wah, 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 wah. It doesn't yeah, matter right. to him. Doesn't matter. Because I know if it was me, I would say I know this doesn't make up for it, but let me do what I can. Let, you would say mm -hmm. let me get in the drum. Let me get in the drum. Mm -hmm. Would you throw that out to Op? Uh, no, I don't. I don't want to get in a drum. As an olive branch, so you would rather stay enemies forever. No, I don't know why he's so angry, but I w that I I wouldn't do that. I mean, I'll, I would talk to him about it and I, wonder this why. This whole talking thing. Know, could, no one wants to talk you do to it, you. You do it so well, right? I don't it understand get, get, why. Get, get, get. <laughs> now you start to squirt him. Mm. Let's yeah. check on what it's Al had to wet. say about Opie and Anthony oh. together oh. months ago during a drinking binge. Out of this whole place, who do you think would enjoy that website the most, though? Out of the entire WNEW place. That? That was uh, probably the Opie and Anthony themselves in that they like those girls that were on Full House. And these oh, girls, so this Molly Rama, appears oh, to be God. the same age, age as the Full House girls. Oh, jeez. That's oh. embarrassing. we got to get these things So you're saying yeah. that we would enjoy so some is, yeah. type of um, softcore child right. porn. That's good. That's, That's embarrassing. Good. Yeah. yeah, no problem. Actually, he's right, but... Right. But that's uh, not the point. That's no, not even not, the point it's there. never right. right. Exactly. Exactly. <sighs> All, right. All right. Anyway, well, I apologize. Uh, thank you. Since he won't, I apologize to you. Everything is... Uh, well, the wheels are in motion. I'm yeah, excited. I apologize. Now I'm excited happy. now. It's, it's now happening. Light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. I know within a week, uh, we will be playing foosball on a nice, level, unbroken table with all four beers clinging to the side in their drink holders. Nice, secure drink holders. Yep. Yeah. Can't wait. I can't wait. There you go. There's your mission. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks, Anthony. Oh, no problem. Fezzi, without a doubt, the most embarrassing episode that has mm -hmm. taken place in a career by you and I who have, let's face it, we've lived outside the law most of our lives. Sure. I've, th I've seen things in our career go on. I saw one day when uh, Robert Goulet actually took a swing at you, Ronnie. Right. Less embarrassing. Le well, far less embarrassing. Than what happened here today. All I wonder, what was Jeremy thinking when he brought him into us? And why doesn't he do something about it? I, well, do you think this is an issue for Jeremy, Al? I know you're part of whatever kind of, you know, crop of infinity management types that they're attempting to grow. I've met the types. It's a cloning process. Right. It's cookie cutter management. But this thing that started this whole problem was was the drinking, which I've stopped doing. So there's, no, you know, there's not as much as an, of an issue to talk to Jeremy about because that won't happen again. So everyone's personal property is safe now. All right, by the way, Dan from Hoboken has um, done the math, and he said, Tops, you drank a six-pack. Because Dan from Hoboken was here that night. We did all... Going beer for beer with you. Yeah, we did, a, what, three or four different drinking games. I had no... I didn't... And people black out maybe after a case. But I didn't have anything on my stomach, nothing to eat that night before the drinking started. People drink more than a six-pack before breakfast. On their way to the liquor store, they're taking a six-pack out of the fridge. And and not only don't black out, they actually function. Oh, I'm embarrassed, Fuzzy. I'm embarrassed. It's humiliating. And you know, the stuff with about Opie embarrasses me, too. Because those guys have been nothing but great to us. And I feel like this show has crapped on them time and time again. You know, when we did the overnights, the Ron and .com, yeah, and Anthony would stop by, oh my gosh, we would be so excited. It was great. It was an automatic best of. And it was a party. And he would come in drinking, right. sit here all night with us and never left breaking anything. I hate the thought of having to cringe because you haven't settled things with Anthony. 
We used to have the, some great Afro shows. And I feel like and you're now a wedge. Made, now you've made that uncomfortable for those guys to stop in here. Because they had to look at you. Well, it used to be an open door. They would come in all the time. And now you know Opie doesn't like you. Right. And you forced Anthony not to like you. And what you just did here today, very disrespectful. Poor Anthony just said, I wasn't going to come down here to this right. show. But you made him so furious. All right, mm. Fezzi. We've okay. said it time and time again. It's an embarrassing situation for us. All right. For your sake, I hope you take care of it by tomorrow. The clock is now ticking. And trust me and Ronnie, we can't stop what's going to happen. Oh, I won't want to stop. No, I'll have everything uh, set by a week from today. New table. I'd try to get it done sooner. I'd act like I had a 48-hour deadline. Or less. You know, people are actually writing in... Uh, a six-pack is what the designated driver drinks. And that is true. <laughs> That's absolutely true. Right. Thank you, bro. Let's take a break, Fezzy. Okay. 877-692-1027. We're on a Fez. Ron and Fez. 1027 WNEW. Hey, uh, Kara. Kara, you're on a Ron and Fez. Hi, Kara. How are you? Hey. What can we do for you, Kara? Is Al Dukes on some kind of, like, you know, school work exchange program where he shows up at work in a short bus and then removes his I got news for you, and this is the job. truth. Nobody in this building has the education. This guy has a master's degree in broadcasting. I didn't even know there was such a thing. He, he, first of all, reach over and take his pulse because that monotone of his drives me crazy. Me too. Does he realize he works for a radio station where, where you two and Opie and Anthony are the on-air talent and... You're you're the artist. Your happiness and everything has to be just so, so you can do your job. You're yeah, right. I never consider, thought of it that way. Well, he doesn't consider you guys a priority. He's always, oh, Jeremy's my boss, and you guys can't fire me. You know, and I kind of blame that on Jeremy. Yeah, Jeremy loves me. So what? Does that, that mean you don't matter. have to do a good job? That means you can go around destroying people's personal property. Are you his nephew? No, I'm not related to him. His niece? No. It doesn't matter if Jeremy loves you. People don't tune into the radio station to listen to you or Jeremy. They Thank listen you. to yeah. Opie and Anthony and Ron and Fez. They're the on-air talent. Do I have to describe what a radio show is to you, you Thank moron? You. Uh, Thank you very much. Kara, that comes in the seventh year of college. Well, oh, okay. All right. He hasn't thanks. attained that year yet. All right. Thanks a lot, Kara. All right. Yeah, I guess that's when he gets his doctor of radio, his Ph.D. He's only up to his master's. Hey, uh, Mike. Mike here on Ron Fez. You two are a little bit responsible for what happened. Too. Responsible what? how? How are we responsible? Well, you two Southern misfits gave him the beer to drink. Yes, giving somebody uh, free beer. That's uh, as a matter of fact, I'd like to get a thank you for that. Yeah, we, we're still waiting for that one. Well, maybe Al could get Anthony something else instead of the foosball table. Maybe he can get him, like, a, a kitten or a Corvette. Maybe he'd be satisfied with that. You know, that's actually the way Al's been thinking. Mm-hmm. No, I'm going to definitely replace the foosball table. I hope it is to his liking. Although, it's weird. A part of me hopes not. Yeah, I know. A part of me <laughs> hopes not, too. Because I'd love to see the consequences. As I root from the sidelines. Hey, uh, Matt. Matt, you're on a run of fez. Hey, Matt. Good evening, everybody. Yeah. I don't like Al Dukes, but I got to give him credit. Anthony handled the situation with Kit Glove after after screaming at him, calling him a, a, a bad words, a dick on the show. And yes. Al Dukes calmly said, okay, I'll get it for you. Those two guys, Anthony and Opie, are a bunch of yo-yos. They oh, have please. this. I'm not going to sit around mm -hmm. and make this worse. Al, keep your nephews off the phone. All right. What's that? Aunt Madeline's kid? 877-692-1027. John, John, you're on Rana Fest. Hi, John. Hey, how you doing? Yeah. I was just wondering, um, being that Anthony probably bought this thing on Long Island since he lived here, and uh, Al Dukes is not doing so well at uh, finding this foosball table. That he hasn't attempted. No. Well, wouldn't he call like? Uh, wouldn't it be smart to call like the places that supply bars with the games to find out if they maybe have a used one or a reconditioned one? Because that's the type it is. 
because bars close all the time. That would be part of the first R of the three R plan I've given him. Research. Do you know course, the name of this uh, unit that he had? Have you even checked that yet, Al Dukes? Yes, I did. It's uh, Good Time Novelty, Inc. Good Time Novelty? Yes. That's the name of it? Yes, it is. Sounds like a hooker's name. All right, thanks a lot. All right, take care. It may be a collector's item that you got there. Right. People are writing that into me. But here's the... Uh, all right, and uh, if you go to the instant feedback, people are trying to help you. And then the remote producer has found one. Pantera is working on it for you. Nice. Thank you. Everyone's looking to help a retard. That's nice. I guess everyone is uh, kind of unified. All right, here's a guy who says there's 120 listings for foosball tables on Yahoo. That's from Big Lou. Why haven't you done any of that, Al? Uh, he's writing it down now. He just wrote down the word Yahoo. Like that means anything. Yeah. He just wrote Yahoo. Like Yahoo, a table's broken. Yahoo, I have a week. Al, what will happen? I, I see you're writing down Yahoo and you're going to do the research. What will happen if you are unable to pull this off in seven days? Will you even bother coming in to face the consequences? Will you come in and face it like a man? I'm very confident I will get it done. If I don't... Will you wait till our show's on the air so we can broadcast the beaten? I mean, I would still Here's another thing show up. that kind of embarrassed me. Why wouldn't you say you're getting a 55-gallon uh, drum? When you know that girls have done this before. Right. And it'd be your way of saying, hey, I want to be one of the guys. I want to do one little thing, Dad. Try to make up for it. That's a big thing, I think. All right. Climbing now, in a 55-gallon drum? Yeah, they throw crazy stuff in there. Uh, would you get killed? No. Would you be physically hurt? I don't think so. Then what's the big deal? You're climbing in a drum. That's it. Patty, you're on Ron Fez. Patty. Hi, how are you? Oh, it's Stalker Patty. How are you? Fine. I have a simple solution, and it's based on common sense. Okay. Anthony, where did you buy your foosball table from so that I can contact them and get another one? Because chances are they have more in stock if they sold Anthony that one. Great. And it now, doesn't even take any research. Now you have Stalker Patty making Make common sense. Well, I wonder whose side she's going to pick in this situation. Well, is, that, is there a sides now? There's no side. It's just a simple solution. Anthony, where did you buy your foosball table? That's simple all you have to question. ask. Yeah. And that's it. You go there. Even if you have to take a train or a plane or whatever, you get there and you get it. All right. Thanks a lot. All right. Just helping. Okay. All right. All right Stalker you're not going to be able to get that foosball table back on the plane with Stalker you. Stalker Patty actually making more sense than the guy with the uh, master's degree in broadcasting, <laughs> which tell me they didn't steal your money. No, I had a scholarship. A scholarship. They paid for what? There is hard work of people all that over this country. That scholarship yours is, is two years of not earning money. That's the way I see it. You took someone's money. And did that with it. For the... You owe apologies all over. What scholarship did you earn? This I got to hear. I, I really don't remember the name of it, but it was for the master's program. I would love to hear what scholarship you won. Mike, you're on Ron Fez. Hey, Mike. Hey, uh, uh, hey guys. Uh, oh. I just, you know, it, it amazes me that, that this individual you have here, Al, is not really realizing that First of all, he should have the results on Opie and Anthony Anthony's mailbox by tomorrow, six a.m. No, yes. there's no buts. I, if he was working for, but I'm I know sorry, you I get that. No, you I get would, that I angry did, if you have something up and yeah, he was working have, for you. I, I would instantaneously have be dragged through the halls. Right. I, I, I just can't believe the the house. Ooh, it's irritating uh, having underlings behave in such a rude manner. And it's up and off. You guys are the gods there. He has to be kissing... Uh, uh, you know what I mean. He can kiss butt. ass, but he doesn't do that. You don't do no, that. No, he has to. That's his responsibility because the firm cannot make earnings without you guys. And therefore, he has to... doesn't matter that Jeremy is his boss. He has to kiss you guys. 
I, well, thanks, Mike. I know this place is unorthodox because it's radio, and that's how it works. That's the nature of it. But if you break it down on the simplest corporate terms, one coworker went and physically destroyed another coworker's private property. Right. What would any other company or business do? Has Jeremy even stepped into this yet? No, but I told Jeremy uh, yesterday that I was going to have a... I just brought it up myself. I said I was going to have a new foosball table delivered. What did he say? Great. Thinking that it was going to solve the problem. Yes. And did it? No, it did not. Here's what embarrasses me. Were you... Did you go to the place and pick out the foosball table? No, I didn't. Were you here when the foosball table was delivered? No, I was not. This is why nothing gets done. Run. 1027 WNEW. Everything Al, had to move uh, what's indoors. going on? We got your... Uh... Yes, it's all... Uh... Set up? Yeah, it's all looking good. Is Anthony here? Yeah, we just went to go uh, check for him. Well, run a, run a mic out and we'll uh, look over it if he, if he wants to come down. Okay. Because the countdown to consequences is still ticking. I believe it's this Wednesday. All right, we're looking it over? Mm -hmm. All right, Anthony is uh, coming into the green room. All right, we will get the fun. Al Dukes, nearly three weeks ago, ruined oh my God. Anthony from Opie and Anthony's foosball table. Oh, my God. Oh it, my God. This Wednesday was the deadline. Consequences yes. would be if Al did not get that table replaced. I am stunned. How is it, Anthony? I am stunned. It is the exact table <laughs> that was uh, broken. The exact same model, brand, exact year, brand everything. Brand new. Beautiful. What a job. I can't believe he actually pulled this <laughs> off. He did it. I, was tomorrow the day? Uh, yeah, tomorrow, uh, Tuesday, yeah. by okay. our showtime, was the day. All right. So and uh, we had been hashing out consequences. <laughs> Um, Did you think you could get them blown out? That wouldn't have been a problem, would it? Uh, no, you know well, what? That was hurt our feelings. I was hoping. Too easy. Yeah. That yeah. isn't really a consequence. It would have been a prolonged, like like Bush is saying right. against the terrorists, would have been a very long battle uh, that would have uh, taken its toll on him over time. The first one, you would have been able to, and I had this all worked out and ready to go. You at home would have been able to contact Al Dukes at his house oh, at any nice. hour of the day or night, oh, uh, which I think not? would have been a lot of fun. Can I we still, still do it? I say we still do that. Uh, we yeah. might do it tomorrow. Can right. We, we might be it? able to do it tomorrow. Yeah. If the table's not leveled, I you'll be able to call his house. I'll if, kick if, it now. <laughs> I'll run out and kick it now. <laughs> if it's not leveled. Yeah, because I was hoping our listeners yeah. at maybe 3, 4 in the morning would have been able to just ask Al Dukes whatever questions right, they please sure. on right. his own personal home phone, that kind of which would have been I nice. I like it. I would have liked that one, too. Here's what I'm mad about. You effed up another bit, Al. You effed up another bit. Well, I didn't. I wouldn't have wanted that anyway. Oh, no? No. Uh, not <laughs> if people call my house. No. I know, but that no. would have been good you for us. You would have hated that, but yeah. we would have loved That's it. our enjoyment. Well, we can only hope he screws this table up in some drunken uh, right, blackout. Right, he will. And uh, then, we, then we can call him at home. But, uh, Al, I got to say, I'm, I'll be honest with you. You, you. you made good. It took a little longer than we would have hoped. Right. But uh, you made good, and uh, thank you. Thank you. You, you did a great job. I looked out there. It's a perfect table. Maybe the State Department could learn about this because you put a date on it. Right. And then he reacted. See? If you would have kept it open-ended. Yeah. This it is a went on very forever. small scale version of what we're dealing with internationally. Uh, a, a terrorist, right. Al Dukes, yeah. attacked without provocation right. my foosball table. Innocent foosball table. Right. Destroyed it. And, uh, Which was a was, landmark for us. It was a landmark for everybody <laughs> that uh, broadcasts here to have fun. Right. right. We enjoyed it. It became something that we were used to seeing right. out there. It became was, part of the landscape yeah. of NEW. And uh, you destroyed it in an act of terrorism we will all remember. Unprovoked, uh, a madman yeah. uh, kicking it over, <laughs> destroying it. You were given a time frame to work mm -hmm. with. An ultimatum was laid out, and he made good. Mm. So and why can't we do this? We've learned now that, especially around here, deadlines and threats work. Right. See? So now we know how to get Al Dukes to produce. Right. Anthony, thank you, my friend. See, it, it did work out. And Al Dukes, uh, congratulations. I, uh, my hat's off. Opie still hates you what? and despises you. I don't know Do you think why. this will but change then? No. No, nah. not at nah. all. I don't. Is it not Al Dukes that are keeping us from having an Afro show in here one Friday night? 
You guys coming Prob- in getting hammered? I, 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 I would say probably. Time. I say probably. Yeah. You know, I'll come in. I yeah. don't care. And yeah. now, you know, fine. Like I said, I will now go on to ignore you. It okay. won't be something where I'm going to go out of my way, but I won't hate you. Thank you. Uh, for, no re- thank. for no you reason. For no reason. corner. Go and- look at the corner. <laughs> Get put a time out. Get Fezzy. time out. Fezzy, put a towel over his face. <laughs> but Opie. I don't want that jinx looking at that's him. That's another story. Opie doesn't like him at all. Opie's got these deep-seated things that I don't even really know where they come from. But there's a hatred for you, Al, that we all uh, surpasses <laughs> uh, New York's hatred for the well, Taliban. That, it's that, that much. Ma- yeah. Yeah. If people are, say that. If people are nations, Al, you're Radio Taliban. Yes. Yes. Opie hates you. I don't know what, you know what. Why that is? What's the difference? Why it is? It happened. It just, just it's like, it's your it fault, is. obviously. I think he's upset. What the table's done there, Earl? Yeah, that's beautiful. Great. Perfect. Can I? I'm gonna go out and take the uh, celebratory first shot. Yeah. Nice. Good for you. Al, you gotta plug people for that. I would like to thank uh, Wachung Leisure. Yeah. At uh, 199 Route 22 East in uh, Greenbrook, New Jersey. That's the only plug you get, Al. The rest of it comes out of your pocket. Uh, can I give out the phone number? Yeah, okay. 732-968-7210. Everything right. else is from in pocket. All right. That's the only way you're going to learn. You're buying a schedule, Al. You know All what right? else I want to uh, present to him? Or yeah. uh, Look at what you did. Look at the situation and what you accomplished. I think you should put the same uh, vigor and vibe into this program. Thank you very much. So that, that if Ron nice. and Fez need something for this show, that's just a foosball table for us. That's fine. You did a great job. But now you're talking your livelihood, the success of the right. Ron and Fez show. Now, if they need something, you use the same uh, 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 ambition that got you that table to make their show uh, what they want. And so tell yeah. us why that can't be accomplished. Right. Now, I anything. Never. The sky's right. the limit. No Al more Duke. excuses. Right. Because we know you're capable of results. Right. Handy capable, they call them. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> All right. <laughs> thank you, Ron and Fez, and thank you, Al Dukes. Thank and you. you know what? Job I'll start well working on a nice gift for Opie. All right? <laughs> Something that's going to make Opie that. By his love. Thanks, and Aunt. Anthony, sorry you had to go through this. That's okay. I think we all learned something. Well, yeah, we did. We learned something. You may just learn something before you're done. Al Dukes, we learned threats work with you. Ron. Fez. 1027. WNEW.